Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am currently... Let's see. Hello, Marmu. Hello, Helbrick. Hello, Zombie. Jamie, why aren't you still in uh, Rhino's chat? Go back to his chat. He needs all the support he needs. Yes, hello, everyone. Today, we are going to be working on some painting, and Rhino, my friend Insane Rhino, is here to chat with me and stuff, because he is back to streaming again after being the ill. And hello, GibGub. Doesn't want you to stare at the sun. I'll stare at the sun all I want. And I need to make this box a little bit bigger. Why is this... What the... Uh, stream elements, why? I need to go check something for stream elements on Twitch. Yes, uh... Checks. Is this one is the one I'm using? No, it's not that. Because it looks like it is displaying stuff weird. Ooh, hello, Revenus. How are you? Ooh, what the fuck is going on? Why is. What the heck? Why is the text the wrong color? Yeah, I think that fixed it. Did it? I need to test it myself on Twitch. Test. Hmm, yes, hello, Badger. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Something was wrong with the stuff. But yes, welcome everyone, and I hope my... I gotta make sure everything's working now, because stuff doesn't like to work for some reason. Or, or I'm gonna throw this at me. I don't think the throw sounds went on the sounds for the throwing. I heard the wah. This also happened in Terra and Warhammer. Yes, it does. <laughs> Let me unmute myself until Rhino, Rhino can hear me. I am back. Say hello, Rhino. Hello. Yes, this is my friend Insane Rhino. He is also a painter of the miniature variety. Oh, I'm blessed by Rhino. Nurgle. You've been blessed by Nurgle for months now. Yep. And every time I announce my return, he slaps me with a new one. Yep. Oh, should I paint an Eldar on and theme it around each of them? Because that's how I feel right now. <laughs> Although the idea of being in Nurgle's jar, though, kind of um, kind of puts me off that. Yeah. I've got a name, but it's there now. Oh, nice. Let me check. Uh, I'm painting currently some Praetorian Guard. For my oh, Imperial yeah. Guard. Um, it's funny, someone in my chat, um, his name's GibGub, he gets everything, like, the week they announce it at his hobby store. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. He get, he's lucky. They're lucky. They have the new Night Lord's kill team. It's not fair. Whoa, that's actually really nice. I don't know, I think it's champion, that's a better description. Nice, zombie. Hello, Pony. Ooh, one claim one Master, that three. looks good. Yes, Revenus did. He did. I'm going to have to work out. Hello, Philo. Nice. But yeah. So, let me show off some of the stuff I got. So, you want to know something funny about the uh, the Deathwing Knight right now? Sure. Uh, yeah, it's just the Deathwing Knight sprue that they cut up and threw in the box. <laughs> You're joking. I'm not. Look at my, look at my, my stream real quick. Why, shit. Ooh, wrong button. Click the Discord logo, thinking it was Twitch. It's. <laughs> it's just the Deathwing Night Spur from the box. What the? Why? Because How? I guess I, I, I guess they wanted to get more people to buy Dark Angels after the disaster. Though they probably had way too much Dark Angels after the disaster that was the Codex. Yeah, I'm walking the I picked up a... Oh, what's the one? I picked up a... I got Will to pick me up Asmodai. Oh, nice. Because uh, he's out of stock everywhere in the UK. Ah. So I grabbed one, and I'm going to use some spare parts from him to make my own interrogator chaplain. Because in the Master Lazarus box, Darkness there's a nice fist. Rules of shit. Oh yes, and here's the, the basing material for the Titan. Legion Imperialis Astartes. Nice. 
So that's gonna be fun getting around to working on I'm those. I'm a GW on Saturday. I think they had an orc box. It was definitely an old world army box. Ooh, nice. Yes, I've noticed they've started getting in the original uh, boxes again, the Tomb Kings and Bretonians. Yep. Which is nice. Yeah. Because now that they're releasing dwarves, my friend wants to do Old World, so I'm like, yeah, I get to do my Bretonians again. I loved Bretonians. I'm just going to be doing the funny rats. <laughs> uh, I also love the rats, to be fair. Yeah. They're just, they're just funny little guys. Indeed. Oh, I apologize about you, Warden. It's okay. The Dark Angels rules may be shit, but our codex looks awesome. The special art. That's fair. I gotta try and get the special edition of the Custodes Codex, too, and they just released the new... the re, They showed a detachment for Custodes, and it's an eight, and it ain't looking too good for that detachment. Oh, I heard that the codex for Custodes right now is uh, not looking too hot. That was vermin. Yeah, it is not looking too great. I, I am not very happy. It seems like instead of doing power creep this time around, they decided to do nerf creep. Uh, That's not true for Necrons. Oh, okay. Yeah, they actually Necrons are still overpowered. I give it another five, four months before they get nerfed. Oh my. Just like the Eldar, we need something to be overpowered. Other codexes are also going to hell. Uh, right now, it's currently Mechanicus, Dark Angels, and possibly Custodes. Orcs actually have a lot of fun, like their detachments are fun, from what I've heard people say. I have a friend who's into orcs. He does a little bit of orcs for you go. Yeah. But he's uh, mostly waiting for me to do stuff like 3D prints. Ah. Three, three things in Necrons are OP, not the whole army. Oh, they're OP for more than half the army. Okay, yeah. But the problem is Necrons actually have good rules too. It's not fair. It's outrageous. Oh yeah, and then also. Oh, their is... resurrection. Their resurrection stuff's actually a lot easier to do now this time. And this is what well. I'm doing on Wednesday. I'm gonna be building some model railroad stuff because I found hey. out that my favorite model railroad manufacturer makes uh build your own freight cars, and that's why I got this for so cheap. Because I think the person that bought it before didn't know you had to build them yourself. <laughs> you know how much I got them, these three these three freight cars for, Rhino? How much? Forty dollars. They normally go for a hundred and twenty. Damn. Woo Hello, Cam. How are you doing? Uh, Custodes yeah. got worse. It was balanced by getting a good combat patrol. Oh, did they redo the combat patrol again? Yeah, they redid, redid the combat patrol. It's now five wardens, five guard, I think three bikes, uh, and uh, Trajan. Is it Trajan? I don't remember. Let me look at it. Let me see what it is. I was going to say, well, what, what should be the new captain? It's, no, it's not. That's what everyone wishes it was. Okay, what's in the... That's, that's the stupid... Rule that no one cares about. Terminators and a blade champion. Oh. Oh yeah. So it's three. It's six terminator. Wait, six terminator. Wait, no, that's the wrong box. It's three terminators, five guard, five wardens, and a blade wizard. Yeah, but blade now here's wizard. <laughs> paint anything but his warlord. I, I I've said it multiple times. Holy blood! I can't do that. Yes, forty dollars for these high quality cars is a banger deal, a really good deal. Like, plus also it's Kado and it's made in Japan, so you know they're gonna be great. Whoops, that part fell out. I mean, look at the detail on these things, so nice. So tomorrow's gonna be assembling these, and also I find, I guess I des I decided, I guess I should put all the details and gubbins on the steam locomotive I got too. I am aware, but it is still hilarious to make fun of you. How dare you! Thank you for the hydrate and posture check. Oh, well, okay, let's get to painting. Wait, let me... Hmm. I have idea. And also I need to check them. I think my camera's brightness is way too high. 
Handy as a Titan, he should paint it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> Handy sounds like he will kill the next person who asks him to paint the Titan. <laughs> I want to try something. Let's see. Try something fun. Let's see. That. The reason why I'm painting this blank first is because I like putting metallics down on black paint instead hey, of grey. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Get that. Crank that down. Now my stream can see what your stream, what you're painting on your stream. Ah, nice! I put a little window at the top. Thank you. Yes. I need to repaint my Tyranid so I could get that eye off my desk because I really need to reduce the amount of clutter I've got on here. Means I can hide this, and then I can just put this right here. Because. I know that I'm just going to be keeping stuff focused towards the bottom of the stream. You're like me, you're shrimping. Keeping yeah, it close. Yeah, well, I can't keep stuff in frame. <laughs> yep, exactly the same. I'm always hugging my models, man. CW had one job. You know the sister signs. Here's the thing, Hellbreak, why the new code, new combo code didn't come with sisters, because they want you to pay $60 for five sisters. That's why. So the new codex is shite. I mean, the, the new combat patrol is like that. And also, therefore, there's literally of the four, um, the four detachments, two of them have sister are focused on sisters, which is dumb. One of them is pure sisters. The other is, um, sisters is a side, side focus. Which I don't like. North Texas was legit kind of terrifying. All the dogs went like nuts and the lights went off. You feel flowers and to come. Sisters has a meat shit. No, here's the thing. I don't. The, the, the detachment is dog shit. Just really shit because you have to focus on having sisters as a secondary in your army when I'd rather just have normal custodies to soak up all the damage because they can do that. Normal sisters can't do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my one wound three toughness model is gonna soak up so much damage. <laughs> and not die Everett. when just being breathed on. Yes, Hans, I saw the eclipse. I stared at the sun. It was fun. I got some really good pictures too. We I know they're in the Discord. I posted some there. Did we get Shadow Keeper's attachment? No, we didn't. We, how to we... make a, I probably really fancy on a maker on my part. That would be a sort of sense of being a basketball. Ooh, nice! Sounds like a really good idea, Master. Five up if they're within six inches. Let me. My weakest shilling. <laughs> weakest shooting kill them all turn one. Yeah, I know. That's just going to be sisters. Oh my god, the shooting, it's so weak. I'll be able to delete them turn one. Yes, let us, let me begin with the painting. I have to do the probably second and third coat of Corvus Black. Yeah, what you been up to, Rhino, other than being the ill? Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> I've been ill so much, there isn't really much going on other than being ill. Um, no, I'm fast to talk about stuff uh, other than that. I'm painting a lot of uh, Star Wars stuff for Star Wars Legion. Uh, I've had to take and reassemble my uh, printer apart like five times in the last four months. Because <laughs> every five seconds I'm just having problems with it. Every five um, seconds it falls apart. <laughs> I get like two or three prints out and then immediately it just starts kicking the bucket. It starts deciding I don't want to anymore. 
Yeah, and some of the problems I've had with it have been so weird. Ah. Really keep Where I've just kind of, you know, turned around and gone, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this thing yes. anymore. <laughs> I've mm. set it up, it's ready to go again. I've leveled the build plate and everything, it's ready to print. It's just, I cannot for the life of me be asked to put any resin in there right now. Until I actually have to. Ah, yes. I'm still thinking of getting a 3D printer. I'm then here's the best it. part. I could show you how often I have taken my printer apart. Because each time I uh, have to take it apart, I have to test print something. And the best thing to test print uh, when you're setting up a printer is uh, basing material. Ah. Uh, wait, you, you so don't I now have... The, uh... You don't do that print test <sighs> piece that everyone uses that uses less resin? You can, I print off one piece of like rebar concrete cement and if it comes out nice, I'm like, it Hello, works skeleton. good. Why did Naughty Ham become not, not Bard? <laughs> that's not not Bard, that's that's my friend Insane Rhino. He also is a streamer over on Twitch. He also paints the Warhammer. He's having his third return stream because he's been blessed by Nurgle's gift for the past few months, like, all the time. Yep. <laughs> He's a very good painter, so you guys should check him out too. There you go. There, I I've, the all of this was like five or six parts at a time. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> hey, at least he got a bunch of basing material. I know, I use them for my Praetorian Guard, so I was like, hell yeah. Third I don't even airbrush handy, time. how often do you think you could print? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's not very nice. Wow. I also, I also picked up the White Scars Battle Force box from 2023? Really? Yes. I hope you got that at a good discount. That's all I gotta say. I did. How much of a discount? About £80. Damn, that's good. That's like 100 US dollars. That's real good. It's like half off yep. pretty much. And that's half of my Ravenwing detachment. Three is Nurgle's number, so you're in luck that's right now. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Not Nurgle. I've had enough of Nurgle, man. <laughs> but he hasn't had enough of you. It's seven, you fool. Oh, yes, yeah, seven is the uh, Nurgle's number. Yeah. But despite anything, Hello, Nurgle can go away. I don't want nothing to do with Nurgle anymore. <laughs> He's made me sick so often now. Mate. He punishes me so hard, I shouldn't be calling him Papa Nurgle. I should be calling him Daddy Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why? Oh my god, and I thought Ickbard wasn't here. <laughs> oh, Look to my night model who, uh, one who is trying to be chill with Nurgle. That's fair. Maybe it's because I've been playing a lot of Valorant lately, you know, that's pretty toxic. One of the people in my chat said, I'll be sure to send you my sister's Nurgle, the Nurg my sister's a battle, my Nurgle sister's a battle when they're done. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'd love to see him, though. Yeah, hey, just drop him in Handy's Discord and I'll be able to see him. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't tried advertising in my server under the Friendos tab. <laughs> I, to be I fair, haven't. to be fair, I've just announced myself in my own server this time instead of like the four or five places I normally do. I'm trying to not jinx it. <laughs> Because whenever I do one stream at the moment, I immediately get ill. <laughs> but now, nah, handy, I've actually got photos of my skin for Why no you cobalt to see the rest. Means? What do you mean, no, none of those? Why? Uh -oh, what? This symbol has three rings together. Yeah, that works too. That's fair. That is fair. But now, nah, if, hey, if you're morbidly curious, I could send you photos of what that rash looked like. I don't need to see it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Made me laugh because I went to A&E three times over that. A fucking doctor looked at me and went, this has become your second home, hasn't it? And I'm like, I'm not trying. 
Someone in my chat says they like a Brit Brit Bard. Brit Seems Bard. like a nice co-host. <laughs> yeah, because we have Ick Bard, we have not Ick Bard, which is my friend uh Neb who lives in Japan, and I guess you're Brit Bard now. Ah, uh, Brit Bard. Yes. The British Ick Bard. What's right? Rhino does not have a YouTube channel. Well, he does, but he doesn't really do anything on it. He has a Twitch channel. His Twitch channel yes. is Insane Rhinos. Let me actually just plug it in the in the thing. Ah, uh, you're alright. You don't have to. Too, too bad I'm plugging you. Shilling for my friends. Oh. To be fair, I was calling for you earlier because someone said I would like there to be a... Um... Uh, Chaplain Dreadnought, and I'm like, did they ever do one of them? And I was like, do you know what? Who I need to ask? Who would know Handy? And then the chat was like, I'm pretty sure they did. It was an old one. And I went, they did. let me just it's ask a, it's, it's a really old Forge World model. I was like, uh, I think it was uh, Jamie that said you did have one. Like, yeah, you actually it, have one. It was Jamie, and that's when I popped in, too. Yeah, and you missed me saying something. <laughs> yeah, because of the five minutes it adds, and then I'm like, let me go see if there's people I don't watch anymore, they don't stream anymore, and I'll just sub to Rhino to give him my money. Nah. Uh, yeah, you missed me saying, I need to ask Handy for a Handy. Oh my god, why? <laughs> why? Because I knew if anybody knew anything about the Dreadnought, it would be you. Yeah, but why? Why did you have say that you know i've still got that cat chan kernel under my desk you mean the special edition one that i really want yeah lucky bastard <laughs> i've got models handy <laughs> but i'm pretty sure i turned around to you and went oh i'm rhino by the way and these models are the ones i'm gonna be painting i think i've still genuinely got models that i first got when i actually first met you under this desk i mean i know i sure as hell do <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Uh, so much stuff I need to paint, but I can't. I want to paint my Titan. Powerfish Sergeant Johnson, yes, he that's the one he has. Oh, he has I love that. Yes. I want that one so bad. So cool. And to think, I traded in my Pokemon card collection to get Warhammer. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. As long was there a Shadowless Charizard in there? Uh, yes. Which is why I think I got two grand for my collection. Yeah, that's why. Faction, Rhino. What faction you painting right now? Uh, Imperial know. Guard. Uh, these are my custom Imperial Guard. I can show you two of them that I've painted already. Because my idea was, I'm going to pick up a combat patrol and I'm going to make it kind of like a display for myself yeah. and then if i want to play combat patrol i have it because let's face it uh, i am not into being a like a bottom who's a masochist there's no way i'm playing imperial guard in 40k right now uh they get slapped about the flashlight boys yes but um i'll hold it up to the camera hopefully my pale white porcelain skin doesn't cause a problem with it this is our medic i put together i'm painting them up as praetorians which are the uh, zulu british looking guys oh yes that's our medic the the british the british guy painting the british yeah and then because i hate the flag in the uh, combat patrol uh i ended up printing off a custom arm to go with this guy and the f this is the first oh, nice. one I painted, and I knew that the first one I had to paint it uh, with these pith helmets. I had, I had to do a ginger, <laughs> the ginger mutton chops. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel England. Thornberry. Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> oh, smashing! Ah, uh, smashing! England. <laughs> Imperial Guard, you might. As a talking about Imperial Guard, you might awaken Morty and Glory. What do you mean I might awaken Morty and Glory? I'm probably gonna summon Ickbard. Although I think talking about squats and uh, and uh, Votan would summon Ickbard more than Imperial Guard. Mate, ah. the short stacks, the short kings. Uh, it's on YouTube. Warhammer Fenrir, thank you. We're 
was that Warmaster Fenrir? Warmaster Fenrir on YouTube. Thank you for the subscribble. If you're in here, what army do you play under paint? Yes is always a valid answer. Come on, England. Score some fucking goals. Yeah. Battle Cannon and Fist would be a paladin, to be fair. That's fair. Piff themed knight, they wear a giant space rhino hide. <laughs> no. No. Does that make handy hick bard? <laughs> What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I only just caught that. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I am paying attention to you guys. I really am. I'm sorry. What's my kind of is for playing Valorant from an Overwatch player? I understand your pain. Exactly. For that sentence right now, I cast manual breathing. <laughs> sorry, Jamie. I am paying attention. Welcome back, I'm Cam. sorry. Why? Why? I get so absorbed into painting some part of my miniature, I, I look up and go, Elbrick, oh, it's a different that, time of day. Elbrick, I am not Crip Bard either. Just because I'm Swear disabled. Swear to God, right, I'll help you when you knight or I'll be forever shamed. I've still got that under my bed. Wait, you've got an Imperial oh. Knight and you haven't assembled it? Yeah. Shame. 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 You could have used that as an ally. I've got good old um, Questorus. Is Hickbard getting mad? <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that fucking Jamie saying that? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I think someone's in trouble. How did I know? <laughs> I did actually pick up a custodian uh, Blade Guard champion, actually. Blade Wizard, you mean? Yeah, Blade Wizard. Because I like. I like the model. I've always wanted it. Yeah, it's a great model. Now, now, you know, you know what? Now, now you need to get a um, the new Custodes Combat Patrol. Oh, you are correct. I could get that. And then you'll pretty much have half a Custodes army. That's fair. SW, hello, how you doing? You filthy baller. My Club favorite. Hello, SW, how you doing? What army you play under paint? How you doing? Welcome. I uh, what's the one? I want to get hold of my favorite custodian unit, the Venatari. Gabagoo. You can get it delivered to a GW store now. It's great. Yes. Oh, we've always been able to do that. But uh, I want no, to get... No, you can't. Venatari or Resin. You can't get it delivered to a GW store. You never could. Yeah. It's only up until recently you could. No, in the UK I've had that. Wait, what? Yeah. In the UK, you were able to get Forge Roll delivered to your GW store. Yeah. It's not fair. It's outrageous. Why was I never able to do that at my GW store in the US? I was going to say, because whenever I went to go and order something for like uh, my Alpha Legion and that, they were like, oh yeah, we could get it. And I'm like, oh. He goes, yeah, anything from Forge World or Warhammer, we could get it delivered in the store. And that was when I first started like collecting Warhammer like three years ago. It's outrageous. This is unfair. <laughs> Although I oh, think that's mainly been... to do with the fact that the His best custodian confirmed. Yes. Oh yeah. Unfortunately though. Uh, yeah. Trajan got nerfed into the ground. Ah, oh, good old TJ kitten got nerfed. Yes. Ah. No more fights first. No more ignoring modifiers to damage. Uh, if you can say what kind of knight you want to make, let me know and I can teach you what it means for the pilot. Okay, um, I'll get around to painting that eventually. Or, to borrow Andy's phrase, changing. I'll get to it eventually. Hey. I have a clap ton of stuff that I've got going on at the moment. I'm also going to be teaching people how to paint soon in Discord, so... I've got a lot on my plate. And the reason why I'm going to be doing my Ravenwing uh, detachment is because I know for a fact that I can spray paint that black, do a dry brush, and I'm good to go. Yep. And I've got a good part of my army done. Yep. Otherwise, I mostly want to... Um, I mostly want to do HQ units right now because I've been doing a lot of, like, chaff. Yeah, I really want to do like a really nice standout unit for my Dark Angels with my current painting ability. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I, much like a father, went out for cigarettes and have not come back to my Dark Angels in a long time. <laughs> I can't remember the last thing I painted for my Dark Angels. Wasn't it Asriel? 
I think the actual last finished complete model to like that I actually put effort in and actually gave a shit, I think was the lion. Oh yeah, probably actually. Because everything else I afterwards I just kept getting this. like burnout. I got that bone burnout of Deathwing. Yeah. Where uh... I batch painted a whole bunch of Deathwing stuff and now those terminators look very tiny. Yeah. Uh, and zombie... the command squad's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Zombie, uh, paint them however you want to. If you want to paint them in Legio colors, do it. Chaos is based, but fuck Erebus. And we say Erebus. Yep. Uh, it was Primaris Lieutenant Zechariah. Was it? Hmm. Okay, look after yourself. Uh, goodbye. Okay. Thank you, Master. Have a good night, buddy. GW made the line. What about the witch in the wardrobe? And thank you for the bonk. Um, I don't know. I think the wardrobe is currently where um, I would say the Chaos Terminator kit is. Yeah. The non squat Terminators. To be fair, though, you could just kit bash with the new Terminators. I mean, yeah, that does mean you have to go out and buy Chaos kits in order to kit bash it, but any Chaos player that's worth their salt probably has a ton of kit bash Every stuff in Chaos anyway. God hates Erebus. I mean, I think they do. Uh, no, I'm just being silly, but they got rid of him. Why would they do that to Zack? <laughs> the witches slanesh the wardrobe is the Imperial Palace. That's fair. Uh, Mike sounds a bit funky on Handy Stream. Oh, does it? Does it? Oh, Rhinos does or does? What my mic on Handy Stream? I will turn my mic down one and see if that helps. It might be that I just need to turn you down. Is what it might be. Maybe. Your mic? Ah, oh, it's my mic. Probably because he doesn't have all the um, the settings like he has on OBS for his. Hello, Xerxes. How are you? Yes, I do actually have a program that I could be using, but uh, kind of got annoyed and angry with it when it updated. So I was like, I'm just going to stop using this. Updating my OBS? What's that? I haven't done that in ages because I don't want it to break all my stuff again. That's funny. Every time I've got to stream, there's so been a new update. Oh, that's cool, Halbrecht. And it doesn't destroy my eardrums. It's too quiet. And like I said... Besides, no one can have definitely. my voice up too loud. The British accent really punches. It, it, it's fine. I think I did have it up too high because when I was... When I had someone else on stream, they were incredibly quiet for their mic. Eh... Oh, wait, I remember. It was because I had to turn it up just to hear uh, my friend Nev. Because every time he pops into stream, he's always um, walking to... If I'm streaming this early, it's late at night, so he actually has a good mic. And then if I stream at my, my other time, he is walking to work. So he's using his <laughs> phone microphone, his phone's microphone. He is an English teacher in Japan, by the way. Uh, Ryan, have you read Sons of the Forest? I have not read it, but I have had the TLDR from three different people. I know it's an amazing book. Me included. I'm the one who did the TLDR. Yes. You have no excuse now. It's in paperback. Go find it. Indeed. Go and I have got a friend. lot of free time coming up soon. I mean, you've had a lot of free time since you've had the ill. <laughs> That is fair, to be fair. Hello, you may I offer you the to... gift of the eight-pointed star in these trying times? I have <laughs> some eight-pointed star boys. I collect Alpha Legion, too. I refuse. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino, someone said, I refuse to believe that's a British accent. That's Australian. Bruh. I'm British. I'm from... I am literally near London. In it, bruv. Cup he is 100% British. I can I'm attest gonna to this. catch the tube. He's also got the stereotypical British teeth. Oh, don't say that. They're not that bad. Luton. Mm -hmm. Uh Luton Airport, bruv. 
No, but I've got um, I've got my Alpha Legion up at the top. I've actually painted a proxy Alpharius because I don't want squatty Alpharius from GW. Proxy Alpharius? You mean you mean Om um, Omegon? Ah, yeah, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. And now, um, oh. I'm sorry for such a grave <laughs> insult. It's all right. People are like Aussie Bard then. Aussie Bard? No. Australian go back to prison country? Bruh. At least you didn't insult him with Birmingham. Ah. There's one particular place that I actually... I know is worse. I can't say it because I live near it. And genuinely, if someone from that place hears that I've bashed their hometown, I'm probably going to die. What do you mean? You're not. You're all the worst that can happen is you get stabbed. But they need a license for that day of Noi. No, we have uh, loyalty boxes now, where it's like, if you got a knife, that would be very bad if you carry that around. You best put it in this bin for anonymity. I'm not ugh, that word. Anonymity. That fucking thing. <laughs> and then you'll wonder why five minutes later the police are knocking at your door because there's such thing called genetics. Yeah, it's totally like, not an anonymous Dropbox. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, oh, what's this? Oh, we had your DNA. I assume it's a football thing. Mm. Oh, the footy. Yeah, the footy's one. Ick Birmingham. Man, I, I am literally near London. I'm from Thanet, bruv. Thanet. Oh, that is got very broad. Oh, you got a stabbing life's license. Or, oh, oh, my one of my favorite memes is the um, the lady with the crutches walking down the hill, and you have that guy driving behind her, incredibly slow. And he's just like, oh my god, she's taking up the entire road. Oh my god, fucking move! But uh, there's that, and then there's the coming out of the water. Oh, I oh, certainly hope you have a license for that. <laughs> we have ironically watch handicrafts in rhino stream we have unapologetically british and unapologetically american hell yeah oh you're the gun to my knife <laughs> you're when was my the last time you went to, to my stab fist when was the last time you went to to ick hammer world brit bard <laughs> Oh, it came a world. Um, I want to say Warhammer World. Uh, I don't think I've actually been to their HQ Warhammer World thing, but I have been to my local GW store. Wait, you're you're in the Holy Land of Warhammer World, and you have never gone to Nottingham. Yes, but much like the Middle East, there's some places I just would rather not go. Is it because what I think it is that you've been playing? Because huh? you don't want to get stabbed. I mean, there's that. Uh, that's that's a percentage that you run whenever you leave outside the door. Sorry to say this, but I believe that being British is 100% terminal and uncurable. Every person ever who has contracted the British has died. That is a true fact. I am sorry. It's fine. The great pilgrimage to Nottingham. Mate, with how much Nurgle has put on a strap on and made me his bitch... I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in an early grave. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> don't oh, say God. that. It's amazing because I said to my doctor, I feel like I'm playing life on the hardest difficulty. And they went, eh, it could be worse. You could have the C word. What, cripple? No, cancer. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Are you sure you're playing life on hard mode? You ain't you ain't disabled for life. I love my doctor, man. Sometimes I go in there and go, I feel like shit, and he's like, "Well, at least you got longer than twelve months, eh?" It's nothing worse than you know you have to do the accent all day, but yours is shit. wow, Saitama, wow. Do the accent all day, but yours is shit, bro. I've got the stereotypical British. I um, I hate it too. I wish I had like my friend's northern accent. Like, oh no! Well, then you've got the, the Cockney accent and all that lot too. And I've got the stereotypical Brit one. 
Then the Cockney accent, you can do the orc impersonation easily. Yeah. You like bolt action and combo course in Warlord games is less than miles walk from Warhammer World. Me and my buddies visited twice while over in England. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. I know single handedly keeping up the NHS waiting list. It's amazing. <laughs> that is fair, actually, because my doctor actually refer, uh, said to me, A&E's become your second home. My accent like, I don't is like posh. the sound of that. Yes, my accent uh, is a little bit like... Do you know what? I actually had a local... I think I've told you this one yourself, Andy, but the, I went to a uh, sandwich truck at my workplace and I asked them for food. And they said, uh, do you want sauce or anything? I went, uh, no, thank you. And he goes, where, oi, where are you from, mate? You sound posh. I was like, I'm from here. And he goes, nah, not with that. Are you like some big wigs kid or something? And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I remember this story. So I'm from this location, he goes, ah, it's now way. You're lying, mate. Oh, that's Australian or <laughs> Kiwi. Now, if you're British, you go, you lying. He just add bruv to the end of a lot of uh, one of Boris Johnson's <laughs> illiterate children. I love Damn, that. Damn, that's not nice. <laughs> I love that idiot. Sounds like his nose is half in his face. I love uh, our STD Slaneshi territory or Papa Nurgle's jam. I feel like that would be a good collaboration effort. The fuck? Yeah, I'll be the one time they do a collab. What's going on here? Hello, Roth. This is uh, my friend, Insane Rhino. He is a he is my british warhammer friend he's a very good painter too have you seen boris johnson playing rugby against japanese school chair? i saw him playing against <laughs> yeah i saw him doing that and he knocked over the school kid yeah did i i i just found <laughs> it's funny because i think i was watching uh, there's so this comedian in... this comedian in britain called russell howard and he actually covered that when it happened and uh yeah he he made it quite quite funny as well just the fact that he goes um yeah this kid got knocked down and, he, and the way he described him getting back up as well was hilarious knocked over is an understatement he got fucking decimated that's true uh my experience with the uh, british nhs i got a lump that was life-threatening and had to be ex uh surgically they told me that i had to wait 40 days to even get examined and then another one to two for uh months for a surgical room to be available bruh i was in six hours in a and e it the took house. me two hours in the urgent treatment unit yeah how, how's that free health care <laughs> mate it's free but it ain't fucking good exactly <laughs> the, to be fair though the problem's political it's not you know the doctor's faults All I'm saying is if the people in the big house want to fucking give themselves a pay rise that puts an equal amount of strain on the economy than other than paying their doctors, then, you know, I would argue that the doctors are a little bit more useful than people that warm seats. You mean like most government positions? That's fair. All uh, politicians really... do is just spend a bunch of money that doesn't need to be spent. And then give themselves pay raises thinking they're doing a good job. This was the reason why for 10 years I organized medical tourism for people from the UK, especially for Democrat. Yeah, the, um... To be fair, for, for... The problem right now for healthcare in the UK is it's... The waiting lists are so long now. Um, no one has to use Canadian healthcare. Have you tried dying? <laughs> Don't they actually have like the um, assisted unalive pods over there? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, they do in Canada. They do. They do indeed. Oh boy! Oh wow! We don't have to worry about your healthcare if you're not around for the healthcare. 
Canada, woohoo, totally not turning totalitarian lately. Is it wrong to say I think we ran it better? It's not wrong to say because there's a lot of countries out there that aren't America that you guys ran a lot better now that they're not being run by you, they're shitholes. That's funny, I know a few Americans that would say otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, those Americans are idiots. Yeah, well, they're from further west, and I find that the further west you go, uh, the most... I'm probably not going to get on with you that easily. Oh, uh, yeah, so essentially, Californians is what you're, you're getting at, even though me and Ickbart are Californian, but we hate California. That's what makes you guys incredibly good to hang around with. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Even I hated living in California. I loved the state when it wasn't shit. Revoke health care to <laughs> revoke health care to give every British family a Challenger two main battle tank. Hey, I would move to Britain. <laughs> Telling me is your California girl? No, I'm not. <laughs> California girls are incredible are not that bright. Most of them are not that bright. Case in point, when I was in high school. Oh, God, I don't want to talk about British girls, man, from high, uh, from secondary school. You want to know Ooh. how dumb some girl in our class was? She was Go like on. the stereotypical airhead. Her family was filthy rich. Teacher makes a joke like that everyone got immediately. It was like, oh, what kind of parking lots do pigs use? And he's like, a parking lot. And she's like, I don't get it. <laughs> what well, what does pork have to do with pigs in a parking lot? Oh, that's painful. It's like, oh, Mate, like it's uh, not as bad as my co-worker, actually. So this co this person's over the age of 30. Here's the thing, too. He she was she was only in that school because her dad donated so much money to the school to make a new performing arts center. She had, she was like failing all of her classes too. She is, she was not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> oh, it's all right. So here's, here's my one, right? So my coworker is in like his mid thirties. He repulses every woman on the planet and still thinks he's hot shit. Um, and let's just say he's not very smart because he came up to me and said, here, these wireless earbuds I've got. And I'm like, yes. And he goes, do they have to be in the charging case for them to charge? Can I not listen to oh them while God. they're charging? And I'm like, it's called a charging case. For a reason. My 60-year-old mother knows that you have to have them in the case to charge, my guy. Jesus Christ, you're in Cali and I hate people here. <laughs> what, are you in California right now, Rob? Some of the stuff I've had to put up with over here is unbelievable. Kind of done with the finger, done with the shape of a hole on a forehead. Welcome back, sir. I think I might outdo both of you in this case. Ooh. She Shrek stuff. <laughs> Here's the thing. She was hot, but she was incredibly dumb. Yeah, taking a load from Porter Portland. Oof. The fuck? The um, yeah, I've always I've butted heads with that coworker every five minutes. Oh, he got insanely jealous whenever I told him I had a girlfriend. Of Two kinds of Californians based in cringe. That's fair. I am one of the based ones because I like. I am unapologetically American. Hell yeah. Uh, I have so a California's colleague who studied in those up north. physics, specifically aeronautics and high altitude flight. I had a conversation with him where he wanted to make a spaceship that would land on the sun and he wanted it to be made out of light plastic so it would be economical. That's not Asked possible. Him, land on the sun with a light spaceship. <laughs> you can't land on the sun.
He asked me what I meant by Orange that. Orange County, for real, for real. I'm from LA right County. <laughs> I'm from hello. Law County. Ah, uh, hello, Hi, Ichbar. hello, Ichbar. How are y'all doing today? Doing good. How about you? Doing all right. Two kinds of Californians. Cringifornians and former Californians. What does that make me, Skelly? You're going to be a former Californian you soon, good? so you're fine. That's true. Oh, yeah. Rhino is now I'm... a Brit Bard. He's Brit Bard? Hello, Gun. Brit -pop. Welcome to the to the Bard life. One day we'll Look get handy. Hello, oh, new man, long time. Uh, someone's seat. already named Handy uh, Hick Bard. Hick Bard? That's or funny. or or Crip Bard. Or Crip yeah, which one Bard. do you prefer? Neither. I am the owner of this channel. I shall be respected as such. I will be called Handy or Revan. You get respect. Yeah, I know, really. You see my channel? Uh, yes, James I have. Just high, by the way. Uh, What's up? Yeah, he, he, here's the funny thing. I remember long ago I said, I am glad my chat isn't like Rhino's chat with it being unhinged. And then my chat slowly started to become more and more unhinged. And I, and I take full I take full blame for that. Yeah. Who is Brit Bard? I need to subscribe. He is insane, insaner rhinos on Twitch. Let me link it again. I'm just gonna put it and then pin it in, in a comment on the YouTube channel. The chat. It's so have you that. guys read through that thick wall of uh, 4chan text post that is yes, allegedly leaked? I read that leak. I read that I am gonna. Uh, why are they gonna retire most of the Forge World range when most of it isn't even in plastic and needs to be in plastic? They can't do that all by 2025. I think they're they're gonna. They're probably gonna make plastic kits for it post 2025, but there's gonna be a window where there's very not much be like there. a glass door completely unhinged. Okay, let me go to my YouTube chat. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Windows, for telling me you scanned my device five times and found nothing. Hello, I'm a viewer from Handy. Have fun hey. today. Oh, thank you, Xerxes. Welcome in. There we go. Hello. Welcome. There we go. I pinned it. Now people will know. How is your head not exploded, Cam? If you're streaming Britbard in both instances of Handy streams. Guys, that's better than drywall at home. Better the drywall at home deeper IKEA. I don't know. The IKEA, the IKEA drywall kind of has a a Swedish meatball taste to it. Oh, that's a shame because I, I was gonna sprinkle it over my Swedish meatballs as a as a parmesan. Except window. So you're not worried if kits aren't available for a while, they don't decide to plastic them. Here's the thing: I don't believe that I don't believe a lot of the stuff in that um that 4chan mega post. Like oh. Old World and Imperialis aren't doing that well, then why the hell is the shit never in stock? So, my question to chat is, has anyone actually read it yet? Because if anyone doesn't, I'm happy, I'm hap I think it'd be fun to go over it. Yeah, it Xerxes would. doesn't know. I don't think Rhino knows either, so probably. Nope. Yeah. Alright, let me get the, the text step. Rival was overrated at best, Asbestos is the king, yeah. Okay, it is like four max character count, like four chan posts strung together by one by one normie. Okay, so you ready? Yep. This is oh, a leak yeah. by Anonymous. Go figure. Here's what the fuck's going down. All resin is being phased out by 2025 to comply with new government rulings on non-recyclable plastic to avoid bigger tax charges. Beasts of Chaos are being moved out to balance the old world and have more variety to avoid another Horus heresy, where players still scream for Eldar or Orcs to this day. Why did they did be... not let Skaven be an old world? We're gonna get that in a second. They were planned, the beast, uh, the beast of Chaos, were planned for AOS revamp at the start of third edition, including Kragnos being the centerpiece, 
which was obviously scrapped. Instead, it's this, so they get a new, uh, the old world range without having to design one. There, there's a constant balance between old world and AOS. And, uh, sorry, I'm getting DMs when I'm trying to read. Hmm. You're good. That's no, okay. I'd be a former California. Okay, Scout. <laughs> uh, yes, Kislev was scrapped because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. It's already in GW's book of grudges for their recast fiefdoms, but the timing just felt to be in poor taste. They aren't scrapped. They are just shelved until it dies down. Cathay, however, was never really going to be happening. Araby might be. Now, that part has a minor contention. Apparently, Cathay was part of old world art or something like that. I don't know them well enough to spot it out. I live my life by Dawi and Dawi accessories. Um, War Cry is getting a revamp in new third edition. Uh, it's closer to Mordheim, Necromunda, Middle Earth, and truly uh, AOS kill team. And the whole cults of uh, the whole cults in the eight points idea is being retired. The starter box is Cities of Sigmar versus Skaven. The old world is underperforming against projections, but not massively. Mostly attributed to the lack of a big villain draw. Tomb Kings don't seem to be considered a villain in the grand scheme of themes. The first major event reinducing more armies from the Legends stable, uh, in quotes, is expected to pick up slack. Skaven is a popular army among players, but with the intent of keeping the old world and AOS divided, the choice was made to give AOS Skaven an option for a notable chaos release in 2024, and the old world will be getting a return of vampire accounts by 2025. So we're going to be waiting for another year before we get an actual bad guy faction. Soulblight Gra uh, Grave Lords in 4th edition will be leaning further away from the original uh, Vampire Count aesthetic to differentiate the two lines. Expect a new Neferata model. I guess we're, sp we're starting to have to care about Age of Sigmar now, aren't we, Andy? Yeah, unfortunate. My wallet is not very happy. I'm already <laughs> Me all. pissed off, man, with what they did with the Stormcast. Yeah, losing most of your guys. Yeah, and the fact that my start collecting box I bought, only one model in that now is uh, even going to be in the codex or, you know, not be getting a new model. And there's I no point me... How many... Go ahead. There's no point me using the Liberators in my box, even though, you know, you could use them anyway. It's... You're just going to get the cooler ones. I'm just going to get the cool ones because my mate wants to play Skaven, so I've got to go hard with him anyway. The cooler Fair Daniel. Enough. All, all I'm wondering is that Dominion box that they overproduced and forced uh, uh, game stores to buy so they can get their like free, quote unquote, free material from them, because this is how GW pushes their boxes. Uh, I'm wondering how many of the, those uh, Stormcast Eternals in that Dominion box that is still en masse in a lot of game stores, how many of those models are actually going to be legal still? I actually don't think the um, starter box this time around for well, the previous starter box, not the newest one, is going to be coming out. Why did you get Imperial Honestly. Inventory Box? Um, I uh, I got that because um, that is going to be basing material for the Psy Titan. Some of them, Based. a lot of yeah, a lot of them are going to be basing material. So, because in the lore, if anything gets near a Psy Titan, they are they are pretty much their souls are rendered from their body because it's. Pretty much being around a side titan is like being around a blank uh, times like a thousand. So your that soul really will literally be rendered, rend, rend. Your soul will literally be ripped from your body if you're near one. If you aren't, if you yourself aren't a blank. Because in case you didn't know, side titans are exclusively piloted by blank princeps. Because only they can handle the Alpha Grade Psyker suffering inside of the Titan. Based. Feel those limbs hurt. Oh, well, stop that, you dumb bitch. Yeah, have you have you tried making your limbs not hurt? Like like I told Rhino to try not being sick. 
bruh, I'm trying my best, man. It's just Nurgle, okay. like I said. I need to start calling him Daddy Nurgle. Oh, I feel it. I just started. I'm just on the very tail end of a cult that's been sticking with me for a week. Oh, I had a rash that was chewing away at my skin. You're painting oh, Night Lords and Basing Tail. Uh, no, I'm gonna be painting, um, Thousand Suns on the base of it because I looked up the lore and. Psy Titan was used extensively during the burning of Prospero because, you know, Thousand Suns are psychers. So it makes sense. I have no clue if Alpha Class is below the Emperor in Psychic Power. Because there's like, there's stuff above Alpha, like several steps above Alpha, kind of like in the way the Japanese like put letters above A. Yeah. So I'm going to skip a couple of things that don't really matter here because I don't think anyone cares about Underworlds or Warcry. Well, I mean, all you have to say is that Underworlds is like going away finally. Thank fucking God. Yeah, we don't have to deal with that in the promos. Uh, Legione's Imperialis is underperformed, mainly because a lot of the people who were excited for it wanted to play Epic 40k and not Horus Heresy on a smaller scale. Other people are blaming the launch window. Uh, they're expecting maybe another year or two of support, but it's going to go the way of Aeronautica. Bye. Hey, Nian, welcome in. How you doing? Bye. Necromunda. Looks like yeah. I gotta go get that Imperialis box now. That's at my GW store. <laughs> Who wants to start not, a fund um, for that? Because I feel like I can paint most of the infantry in like under a month. Who wants to start the the Aaron, the Imperialis box fund? <laughs> Thank you, Xerxes, for checking. None of the none of the Stormcasts from the Dominion box are leaving the range. Cool. Ooh, I can still get the collector's edition of um, the Dominion box, and there's also still the Christmas box as well in my local. I grab all my mini Titans Hell quick. Yeah, yes, you do. I'm Raven my Bikers box also comes upgrades through. Uh, no, it doesn't. Old Ravenwing Bikers box does not come with the upgrades through. Uh, eat your food. This is shame. <laughs> Thanks, Nian. Bye bye. Have a great day. Thanks, Nian. <laughs> Have a great day too. Um, I've got two of the Ravenwing upgrades throughs anyway. But I would say one thing. I recently bought the uh, Ravenwing Bike Squadron. Yeah. The kit hey, is thank from you, for the two thousand and two. And I realized that my Ravenwing Command Squad is not only better quality. It doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist. Yeah, it's not in the codex. Command squad isn't there anymore, I think. Really? Because I saw it in there the other day. At least I don't think they are. I don't remember. Warhammer 40k app. Continue battle force. Where's my race? It's Legends now, okay. Ravenwing command squad, right there. Oh. Uh, wait, have you updated your app? Yes. Yeah, it's uh, a Legends updated. unit, though. It's a Legends unit? Oh, huh. you don't have... So, here's the thing. You have the... in. I'm assuming you have the index for the GW app? Yes, but they've updated it so that it has all the codecs and everything. Yeah, if you don't have the codecs, it doesn't update shit, usually, is my understanding. Holy shit, they run that app. Like that. Mother... Or, like, when I say that update that shit, it, is, like, it updates data sheets and stuff like that. Mm. But it had been but, horn. but it's it is very much a legends unit. Please take our word for this. Okay, look. Well, I've got um. Well, I got that kit, but you can also use that kit to build the Ravewing Black Knights. Yep. So it's that thing of like, I bought the older version of a newer kit that I already had, and um, that I knew I could have built. A com like, you know, the actual Ravenwing squad from. Yep. Thanks, man, they need to start releasing HQs that are on vehicles, man, because it's painful now, because I think all we have is literally the Chaplin on bike. How do you think White Scars feel? <laughs> I have the White Scars Christmas box! Yeah, I know. It's, it's a fucking Chaplin on bike! 
No, this is this is how you make people want to want to use the app. Because no, not many people are paying for the damn app for Warhammer Plus. What you do is, hey, I have the hard copy of the codex. Let me enter this code on the app so I can build my armies on the app. No, it's not that it doesn't work that I way because GW. Yeah. And don't worry, O5. I, pr I appreciate your s when your Slanesh comes out, it's you wanting sounds to be louder and not us having to ban people in chat. So you're more than fine. <laughs> okay, continue Ickbard with the post. Yes. Uh, from there, Necromunda and Horus Heresy both sell very well and turn a profit will be the most stable games for the foreseeable future. Interesting. Necromunda kind of makes sense. It's niche enough to where it could just keep the right amount of people interested. I think that's more than fair. Well, I mean, people buy uh, Necromunda just for the bits. <laughs> oh, and Necromunda is great for kit bash materials. Same for Horus Heresy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Middle Earth has seen a surprising uptick in sales this year. I blame two of the people who are in this community who play this almost daily. Uh, external licenses to support it. It's always been lesser but the re uh, than the rest, but don't expect to go anywhere anytime soon. Uh, so basically, they make a decent amount of money. They have to kind of pay an overhead immediately for licensing, but it's good enough to where they're, they're fine to keep paying it for now. Expect more than the Stormcast Eternal's range to get a large range discontinuing. Post lockdown slash, uh, slash Indominus, the people are holding their purse strings. Mainly those who jumped in from other parts of the tabletop pie, like t uh, trading card games. People have been asking, in quote, what do you mean people buy product and then may go a decade without buying more, end quote. And the new mandate is that customers should be replacing their army every three to four years. Long enough to grow attached emotionally, but not long enough to be unwilling to buy another. This means a few armies and sub factions are going to go away. Talk about how about uh, plans off obsolescence. Yeah, planned obsolescence is is kind of a, a, a creepy thing to read out loud or yeah. in, just read in general. Um. This means a few armies and sub-factions are going away in the next two years. For AOS, they are alleging, this is all alleged, we have nothing to confirm this by the way guys, so just, you know, don't- Hit that like button, yeah, hit the like button in. on the stream. Yeah, hit that like button on the stream, but don't buy into the hype on this, on these leaks. For AOS, the Dispossessed, any High or Wood Elves outside of, uh, outside Resin, and some Dark Elves will be retired. Others moved into other battle tomes, such as uh, Daughters of Cain. It is unconfirmed, but don't expect Fire Slayers to be around forever. For 40k, Death Guard, Adeptus Mechanicus, Gene Stiller Cult, Adeptus Astartes are losing a few units. Hey, Harley Quinns are gone completely. In the... and... Sorry, when someone's asking, like, what do you mean what was in the post Imperialis? You mean. The other box that was near Imperialis on the thing, that was a model railroad kit, I think. YouTube chat is asking you to have a nice day, baby. Uh, yeah, so Imperialis is gonna go away after a year or two. Uh, the miniatures okay. are cute. So, remember guys, these are all rumors. There's n like this person is say saying it with authority just because someone says it with authority doesn't mean it's true. I should know. I do this all the time. Uh, Parlic wins are gone completely. Grey Knights are becoming a universal ally option for Imperium forces rather than having a standalone army with, with custodies intended to fill their former niche. Both major titles will see another attempt Hello, at check ever and chosen. Josh. It'll be train Sub time tomorrow. It'll be model railroad uh, time tomorrow. Attempt. Hell yeah. All right. Choo choo time. We're yes. going to play Thomas Tank Engine in the background. No, we're not. Uh, there's going to be another attempt at the Ever Chosen slash Eye of Terror mini battle tomes and codexes intended for narrative and smaller sized games. The first two are Battle Tome, Blighted Crusade, and Codex Imperial Agents releasing this autumn. This is the part, uh, this is part of the, to quote, uh, Watsyification of GW, Watsy being Wizards of the Coast. 
at the advice of shareholders and U.S. consultants. Smaller, faster games with more focus on ease of entry. The Combat Patrol and Spear Tips are intended to function like Magic the Gathering pre-constructed commander decks, to end quote. Expensive lifestyle products that a player can buy, put together, and have a balanced game against each other. The intent over time is players, uh, there's going to be less players with 30,000 points of Dark Angels, and <laughs> more players with 2,000 points in every army range. <laughs> with the rise in alternative hobby products such as paints and tools, the range of Citadel paints is being reduced. If something has an option where a contrast paint can fill the role of both, expect the base layer of said color to go away. Primers are also being cut down to Grey Seer, Chaos Black, Canicus Standard Grey, Iron Warriors, Sandry Dust, and Death Guard Green. That makes sense, honestly. Basically, yeah. That one makes sense. The COVID boom is over. Yes, a lot of sense. They, they can't keep a grip on a failing part, especially when they theoretically sold more Abaddon Black than Warhammer Fantasy Battle for 8th edition. But to, to summarize, as this person is doing, the COVID boom is over and cost cuts are happening to avoid increases in expenditures. Yeah, now does that the mean they're gonna? Part, this is what, does that mean what? they're gonna decrease the price of the miniatures? Probably not. Nope. It's the one thing everyone complains about. <laughs> uh, this is what he is calling bonus gossip. Chaos dwarves aren't happening. They look too anti-Semitic for it to happen. And GW has a problem uh, as it being seen as the quote-unquote Nazi company. And they won't touch them again. Not at least in the original sense. The Jesus Old Christ. World sold a lot of Tomb King models, but very few Bretonians by comparison. I actually talked to someone about this, and they pointed out that the reason the Tomb King sold so well is because their entire model line is out. But the only half the Bretonian model line is out for individual sales. You cannot get peasants, is what I was being told, which is apparently a big deal. Uh, I don't know how they're anti-Semitic. I just know if you make the claim bold enough, people will kowtow. That's just how it goes with companies nowadays. Yeah, that's how the internet works, unfortunately. The high-up old guard dinosaurs are not really happy with people like... Peachy and Suggs, whoever the fuck they are, giving insider secrets and getting people on social media to demand artist credit on paint jobs. Okay, so they just want, they don't want to draw attention to other people whenever anyone paints their stuff. They just want to show off the paint job and not credit whoever did it, keeping them nameless, which is a, a tactic that a lot of companies do. I mean, so there that was that a kerfuffle about one of the recent paint jobs in the white, recent White Dwarf. Oh, yeah, about Serb. Yep. Yeah, he's a good painter, but I think he's morally lacking as a decent human being. And that's the polite yeah. way of putting it. They, Not they've, a good person. They have, they have othered other mutuals on, uh, on Twitter that I am friends with uh, simply because they didn't agree with him. And he ended up becoming the... The bigot in a lot of ways, which is ironic because he is anti bigotry, but that's a conversation for another day. Okay, a lot of stores saw changes from Games Workshop to the Warhammer shop, and they saw a quote unquote shocking decline in regular attendance. At first, this was waved away as COVID, as many things were, by the wrong people in jobs uh, they were shit at. That's such a weird sentence. As many things were by the wrong people in jobs, they were shit. Okay, okay, so people who didn't know what they were doing were blaming COVID, and now it's biting them in the ass. But they have been more store closures in the last five years than the 20 before it. Okay. That's, I believe that because like rather... three stores in the LA area closed down before I left. Yeah, and that's the thing we've been talking about, noticing that a lot more have been closing. Well, over um, here, it's um, it's cheaper to run your business out of like a like a what's it like a retail um, park sort of like thing. Like, there's a where I work in particular. There's this bunch of like um, so a strip mall. 
like work condos where they have like all these garages and that that kind of like how your storage lots are oh like okay i know i know, I know what you big. mean so there's a place near me that literally it's just like one giant building with a bunch of like different like lots yeah, it's like in these it yeah giant like there's like multiple buildings yeah yeah i know what you're talking about lot yeah like a, a storage circuit yeah kind of so it's like a mini mall like like a mini mall without the mall if okay so the you outdoor section of the mall yeah they you go there you can go there in person but it's primarily because it's actually a lot cheaper to run your business online than it is uh, in person because everyone's online nowadays uh my local game store i'm surprised i have like four to be honest um they don't have an online internet thing but that's mainly because they um they're quite boomerish they like using facebook and using facebook marketplace to like advertise and do that sort of stuff whereas one of my favorite online shops in the uk chaos cards which does like a whole bunch of cheap like card games and tcg stuff and uh like warhammer bits the new Night Lords. they uh, no, I'm not. have they have a physical store but because their online presence is so good they've managed to make their real like you know their actual physical store immaculate and amazing and really high detailed and really good but their online store carries their business by like 80 percent and it's cheaper to rent out one of those units than it is to hire out a uh what's the word like an actual shop in the uk right now and that's plus that, even that's the what happens when you live on well. a tiny island and also when government isn't really friendly to big to small businesses a la california yeah it Alrighty, so uh, people would rather shop online or go to a third-party store with more tables exactly. and, uh, and amenities. So yeah, literally what you just said, that's exactly what's going on with them. A lot of leaks of screenshots and sprues are not leaks, but official intended PR. The We've excitement makes word of mouth before. spread. Yep, spread, word, spread faster than plague on places like Twitter and Reddit. White Dwarf sales terribly, and despite changes to insert cards, rules, and more painting guides, the internet slowly made it redundant. And they've been holding on to it for the big issue 500. It's almost been cancelled twice in the last five years. It'll probably go all digital or on the hiatus in the next year. And this is the final one, which just shows that it's a it's a 4chan post. Stop bringing up the Demon Kulaba. It's a writer's fetish insert, and you are absolutely that guy when you bring it up every time you visit Warhammer World and try to talk to woman customers about 40k. Yes, I'm talking about you, Greg, from Swad Swadlin Coat. Cut it out. Everybody hates it. I don't know who Greg from Swadlin Coat is, but I imagine he's feeling rather called out. It's... That's a great question, Jamie. Is this all PR? Um... We don't know. No. No, I can yeah. actually answer this. So, a mutual friend of mine and a friend of Handy's, uh, Goblin King, he works in the toy industry. He works on the designing, selling, and engineering of, like, toys. And he knows there is a, there is a window that you follow when it comes to, like, hyping. They have a three-month window, roughly. If something is revealed or leaked and it and it's something that's being released in three months, okay. that's the company that is selling it. If it's outside that three months or if it's like an actual codex leak, it, it's not sanctioned by GW. Ah, uh, so you mean like the the Age of Sigmar thing we saw maybe? Yeah. Sigmar leak, the codex. Greg, only person able to confirm info. Too ashamed to confirm any of it as real. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hello, the Mr. Wine Salmon. Being How are you? Mr. Welcome salmon. To the chat. Bring me some salmon. All right. Uh, the lion being sent instead of Zangor's was GW. Yes, but they're also trying to AI 
like manage their warehouses. So uh, that's why I... people got. Go ahead. I actually have some news on that. Oh. So, oh. my local retailer is a. Um... Oh, what's the word? He's a registered actual partner GW business. And he has a close contact who's in the marketing department of the Warhammer shop because he did the he did a, a display board for them a long time ago and he also does work for them every now and then for display purposes like uh, i think he he chopped a warlord titan in half at one point and used it as terrain it and i think it was because it's it came based. literally it's based. Using um, rattle cans. um so he, either Sorry, Rano. Uh, warm oh, up your rattle can to room temperature and then spray it. That's probably why. Also, make sure you have a fair distance. Yeah. Okay, continue. It's all right. Um, so he said to me, he goes, the problem that they've had at the moment with the uh, with GW is when they updated to their warehouses and that they have moved to a more digital and AI based one. But he said, but what's happened? is a lot of the bots that go in the warehouse to pick up, like, you know, the thing and put it on the conveyor belt to the front of the warehouse, a lot of them broke. And the warehouse wasn't designed for people to get back there. So he said a lot of engineers are having to crawl across the conveyor belts through little, like, box-type, like, cat doors into the warehouse to fix some of these robots. And like some of these mechanical parts of the warehouse. And they say that it's an absolute fucking shit show over there because that also happened when they updated the website. That that was happening. It was stupid. They said there was literally no human fail safe at all. It was so all turned planned on to be again. just robot. Yeah, that's why that's people. That's fair. <laughs> that's why people got the lion instead of like what you said, Zangors. And also someone got the new Dante instead of the old Dante. Yep. Makes me laugh because um, I think uh, one of my mates he got a box of, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Rubric Marines, but instead of it being the instructions for Rubric Marines, he found the fucking instructions for Plague Marines in there, yeah. and he he phoned them up and told them and, he's, and the, the thing was like oh well you can just look it up online so like, you don't need the paper instructions you can just look it up online and... Ooh, almost dropped the brush in the paint um, but no uh, a lot of the GW stuff at the moment is yeah British stupidity I'm afraid sorry <laughs> <laughs> no you're fine you're fine I'm all about British slander. You, you, you have no idea. Unapologetically, Amer oh. unapologetically American. Let's go. <laughs> and for those who are wanting to read this, I am going to post the leaks into Gen Chat. Or actually, no, wait, we have a we have a thing for leaks. Leaks and rumors. There we go. Yes, that Doom posted an actual leak for the first thing. Smart ass. Yes. He didn't even have the decency to rotate it. Yeah, I know. Sounds like I see. Oh, hey, Wicked. Hello, David. How are you doing? I'll give you your powder, you crack addict. 1776, baby! That's how much the American weighs! God. <laughs> I love accidentally using white paint on fresh red paint. The heck, why is it? it? Sounds like you don't love it. That's pretty sarcasm for you. Huh. I think something's wrong with the... British? Have emotions? <laughs> There's tons of stuff wrong with us, man. Something's wrong with the uh, Twitch integration sound alert side. It's not playing. It's giving me oh, a loading bar. I don't know. It, it works. Uh, yeah, I'm painting Legion Imperialis, kind of. I'm, this is back before. <laughs> I've had this since before Legion Imperialis. I don't know why, David, but it's not working, so I owe you one later on. 
What? Now this is a side Titan. If Elin is above sea level, something is fundamentally wrong. Ickbird, I'm literate. I can't read that rumor. <laughs> uh, David, you should have been here 20 minutes ago when I literally. And he'll went be fine. I'm pretty sure either Valrak or Ospex will go after uh, over it. So today we're going to be going over this rather cheeky rumor today, and we're going to see what's real and what's not. Mother. Mother. You get Mother. It? Fucker. It's the chat thing. It's the donation thing where I get war uh warhorn and my ears get blown out. Oh yeah, it, yeah, so basically he That one didn't blow my ears out. But it's louder for the chat don't know for him. Yes, it is incredibly loud. Ah, that's fair. Raise your honkers. I put my honkers in the air sometimes. Say an ayo. Chorus, let's go. How can I send pictures in the Discord? Um, you join the Discord and then you have the ability to Oh wow, that's really late. Holy shit. Okay, now I don't need to do that for David. And also, uh, did it twice. Funny. So, Herman, what you have to do is you have to, um, agree to the rules first, is what you gotta do. If that's you, uh, who's that? Uh, Mr. Salmon, you have to agree to the rules. You have to have been in the Discord for 10 minutes, and now you have access to everything else. My brother in Imperium, what is that profile pic? Revan to Scrim. Wait, what? Oh, I think he sees... the Neko arc, the yeah. Neko Rev one. I had replaced it because it's funny. It's funny, that's why. I needed to update their, the profile pic because it gets more people to look at the channel too. And eventually I do want to get that done as a joke, a joke VTuber model. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. Looks like I want to get uh, the powder so one done. Rhinos, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, but, uh, our, our, our boy Jamie is a patriotic Irishman, so be careful. It's all right. I hate the British too. Oh man. He's like, it's like, we'll kill you last. <laughs> Can I pay for Ickbar to read the rumor again? I mean, <laughs> probably. How, how much you get to pay, Dave? How much you think, Ickbar? Uh, I would say uh, that's at least $5 worth of reading. Okay. I will have to Xerxes enter Xerxes says there. $30. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 Rhino? Uh, I'll be ending my stream there. I have okay. uh, a bit I've got to do, but I'll give you a raid. Oh my god, uh, okay, my first raid you, in brother. like a year. Oh my god, I'm the Great, first. Shady lemons. <laughs> uh, let me send them to you. The English Warhammer people are on the good list. Okay, Jamie, you're safe. Wait, hey. oh, Warhammer's British, it always was. Always has been. But no, um, <laughs> thank you for hanging out with us, though. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Okay, you gotta read now. <laughs> you did oh, no. Jesus no, Christ, no, David. No, not the cringe donation, do no. Outro. <laughs> not the cringe donation. No, no, not that one. Dang it, the uwu. No. The head yeah, office is quite late. Later, SW. Thanks for hanging out. Thank Pay you for being here. The chaos cultist. Yeah. Oh, that's Based. a little fun though, SW. Ah. All right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, David. Thank you for... We're gonna let Rhino do his outro, and then uh, then I'll read. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for watching, everyone, on my end, and also Andy's end with a little the window. Um, but no, thank you very much for hanging out with us though, you two. Uh, yeah, nice no problem. Thank you for again. hanging out. Well, if I you're think ever... it's been like a year since I've chatted with you. <laughs> yeah. But, um, 
Don't worry, Britbard. Your new car is perfectly fine. Go on, start it up, smiley face. <laughs> That's fair. But no, thank you very much, everyone. I'll catch you again, hopefully, if I'm not getting pegged by the I hate you. I'm Let's not go, guys, flip it. fingers, but I shall wear a chastity belt. <laughs> Have fun, everyone. Ink for the stream. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, Rhino. Anytime. You're always free to join in if I'm streaming or you just want to hang out while you're painting, too. Yeah, because of the right raid, it's doing an infinite mirror now. Oh yeah, now I gotta shut that off. There we go. I'm gonna shout out Rhino on this channel just because. Aw, thank you. Ah, hello cat, you cat in the box. Welcome back. Tina, buddy, it's been too long. Ah, oh, I remember fucking up cat in a cat's name I used to call him katina box before i realized it was cat in a box and it took me way That's a, too long to the, realize the stream can on my end can still hear you too by the way oh <laughs> hi guys i'm still here just not streaming <laughs> bye on your bye, own channel all right i'll catch you all later bye, bye okay everyone. bye good one catch you later <laughs> Andy, use your American powers to give Rhino a gun. I'm putting that in base takes. Yes. Today's a good day. Yes, today's a very good day, a fun day. Yes, Katina. Yes. I do it on purpose. I like to give you were part of the you were part of the wave of people who are here or I purposely Shadow gave Legends. them wrong names. Get rage Shadow Legends, the idiot. You fucking get. Alrighty. So, $20 donut to read this. Uh, there is nothing proving any of this is real. So you know, this is the person claiming the leak. I'm going to give it about 25% accuracy. That is my guess. I have no way to confirm it. With that, let's just... Let's just jump it right into it, you know? Because I know Dave loves Philip Franco. Yeah, let's just jump into it. So, resin is going to be phased out by uh, 2025 to comply with new government rulings on non-recyclable plastic to avoid bigger tax charges. Beasts of Chaos are being moved uh, to the old world instead of being released in AOS. Uh, they were originally going to be released as a big set with Kragnos during 3rd edition. Uh, however, they scrapped it to give the old world a new range instead of having to design one. Kislev was scrapped because of the Ukraine-Russian war. However, they are not permanently scrapped. It is more accurate to say that they are shelved. However, this is not just because of the Russian war. This is due to the fact that Ukraine and Russia are the homes of recasting that GW hates. So, you know, a little bit there, a little bit here. Uh, they are never going to make the cafe, and Araby might be a thing. Warcry is getting a revamp in its new 3rd edition. It's going to be more like Mordheim, Necromunda, and Metal Earth. Uh, and truly an AOS kill team. The whole Cults of 8 points idea is being retired, and the starter box is going to be Cities of Sigmar versus Skaven. <laughs> the old world is underperforming against projections, but not massively. Mostly attributed to the lack of a big villain draw, when Tomb Kings don't really seem to be considered a villain in the grand scheme of things. The first major event, reinducing more armies from notable legends stable, is expected to pick up slack. Skaven is a popular army among players, but with the intent to keep the old world and AOS divided, the choice was the main to give uh, made to give AOS Skaven, while Chaos uh, is going to be released in 20, uh, 2024 for the old world. Uh, we're going to be seeing the vampire counts in 2025. Soul Blight Grave Lords and Fourth will be leaning further away from the original vampire count aesthetic we're going to be getting a new neferata model allegedly is this on no wait 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 wait
uh, from there, Warhammer Underworlds is ending production this year. One final box after the Winter Maw, along with limited time reprint box boxes for the most popular war bands. Thank fucking God. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be released quarterly. Uh, intended to be a gateway game, a competitive casual tournament uh, product, and it didn't succeed at other, and a cost in board and card games made them less profit than Warcry Terrain, so it's being dropped. That's funny, Terrain is being sold more than that game. Legion's uh, Imperialis is underperformed, mainly because people wanted to play Epic 40k and not pure Horus Heresy. Others blame the launch window. Uh, it's going to get another year or two of support, but it's going to go the way of Aeronautica. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be held up by fans, basically, which is fine because Epic has been held up by fans for almost 20 years. Uh, Necromunda and Horus Heresy both sell very well in turn of profit and will be the most stable games the foreseeable future. Handy and I and Rhino have attributed that this is because the games are niche enough to where you don't have to go crazy uh, on the sales for it. They have their expectations for how much they produce. And also, Necromunda and Horus Heresy are great for kit bashing into 40k in general. <laughs> Middle Earth has seen a surprising uptake in sales this year. Uh, however, that is curtailed a bit. The fact that it is an external license, so even though they're getting more money, they're not getting as much money as they could if it were their own original product. But they don't expect to be dropping the IP anytime soon. Yep, yeah, later, Warmaster. Thank you for the subscribe. See you, Warmaster. Yeah. Continue. Uh, from there, except, uh, expect more Stormcast Eternals to get a large range discontinuing. Uh, more than just the Stormcast Eternals, we have post lockdown and uh, post lockdown and slash Indominus. People are holding their purse strings, mainly those who jump from other parts of the hobby, tabletop pie, uh, like tabletop uh, or ta uh, trading card games. They've been asking, what do you mean people buy a product and then may go a decade without buying more? Uh, the new mandate is that a customer should be replacing their army every three to four years, long enough to grow attached emotionally, but not long enough to be unwilling to buy another. Basically... You build an army, you play it for an edition, you like it, a new edition starts, you play a different faction, you like it, a new edition starts, you you retire them, but you keep them in the back burner. That's basically the way they want to get people on. Uh, a few armies and sub-factions are going to go away in the next two years. For AOS, that's the Dispossessed, any High Elf or Wood Elves outside Resin, and some Dark Elves will be retired. Others moved on to Battle Tomes, such as Dodge the Cane. It is unconfirmed, but don't ex Sorry. It's unconfirmed, but don't expect Fire Slayers to be around forever. For 40k, Death Guard, Admet, Jeans to the Cult, and Adeptus Astartes are losing a few units. Conoquins are gone completely, and Grey Knights are becoming a universal ally option for Imperium forces, rather than a standalone army with custodies intended to fill their former niche. Both major titles will see another attempt at Ever Chosen slash I have Terror mini battle tomes and codexes intended for narrative slash smaller sized games. The first two are Battle Tome Blighted Crusade and Codex Imperial Agents releasing this autumn. This is the part of the quote unquote Watsyification of GW, Wizards of the Coast, essentially. This is due to the advice of shareholders and newest consultants. A focus on smaller, faster games with an ease of entry. The combat patrol spear and spear tips are intended to function like Magic the Gathering quote-unquote pre-constructed commander decks. Expensive lifestyle products that a player can buy, put together and have a balanced game against each other. The intent over time is we'll have less players with 30,000 points of Dark Angels like Handy and more players with 2,000 points in every army range. With the rise in the altern alternate hobby products such as paints and tools, the range of Citadel paints is being reduced. If something has an option where a contrast paint can fill both, expect the base and layer of said color to go away. Primers are also being cut down to Grey Seer, Chaos Black, Mechanicus Standard Grey, Iron Warriors, Xandri Dust, and Death Guard Grim. TLDR of this entire section of the leaks, allegedly, is the COVID boom is over and cost cuts are happening to avoid increases in outgoings or your expenditures. 
And the final topic, the bonus gossip. No, Chaos Dwarves are not happening. They look too anti-Semitic for it to happen, and GW has a problem, as it is being seen as the quote-unquote Nazi company. And they won't touch them again, at least not in the original sense. The old world has sold... Wow, sold. They sold a lot of better Tomb King Saul. models, but better call Saul before he becomes Paul. Uh, the old world sold a lot of Tomb King models before, but very few Bretonians by comparison. This is this has actually been explained to me. Tomb Kings have their entire like launch box released as individual kits you can buy, and they have a really cool big model that really draws people. Bretonians don't have their entire uh, starter box kit sold. Apparently the peasants are not being sold yet, and there's no big model to centerpiece to draw around them. The high up old guard dinosaurs are not really happy with people like Peachy and Suggs, whomever they are, I do not know, giving insider secrets, end quote, and getting people on social media to demand artist credit on paint jobs, which is makes sense. A lot of companies don't like to give credit because A, you can replace those people. You know, you don't want to have another Duncan Rhodes incident, quote unquote, and it allows people to focus only on the GW product and not the content of what they're painting. From there, a lot of stores have saw changes from Games Workshop to the Warhammer Shop, and they have seen a shocking decline in regular dependent, uh, attendance. At first, this was waved away as COVID, as many things were, by a lot uh, by people who were in the wrong job, and they were shit at the job they were at. But there have been more store closures in the last five years than the 20 before it. People would rather shop online or go to a third-party store with more tables and amenities. A lot of the leaks and screenshots and sprues are not leaks, but official intended PR. The excitement makes word of mouth spread faster than the plague on places like Twitter and Reddit, which is the thing we talked about. A uh, friend of mine, friend of the, of the stream, Goblin King, he works in the toy industry and he was able to succinctly put it that there's roughly a three month window if something is leaked and in the three months it is revealed, it was GW uh, planning it if it's outside the three months or if it's someone leaking entire codex like the majority of ninth edition was it was not by gw and they probably unpersoned that person in the hobby not by killing them that's not what i mean by making them no contact if you work with them you're dead to us type of things blacklisting hey. white dwarf go ahead no i was gonna say yeah kind of like they did to miniac All right. yeah Poor Miniac. Uh, a lot of the leaks of screenshots and sprues are... Oh, I just read that. God damn it. Ever ha Don't you hate it when you're reading a book and you keep reading the same line over and over again, not skipping down one? You're like a, like a broken machine hitting a wrench to hit you. Yeah. White Dwarf sells terribly, and despite changes to uh, insert cards, rules, and more painting guides, the internet's largely made it redundant, and they have just been holding on for the big issue 500. It's almost been cancelled twice in the last five years, and will probably go all digital or on hiatus in the next year. And here's the funny part. It's very funny. It makes you realize, yeah, this is a 4chan post. Stop bringing up the Demon Culaba. It was a writer's fetish insert, and you are absolutely that guy when you bring it up every time you visit Warhammer World and try to talk to female customers about 40k. Yes, I'm talking about you, Greg, from Swaddling Coat. Cut it out. Everyone hates it. Whoever Greg is, he is incredibly called out. There you go, David. <laughs> Nick, I wasn't paying attention. Can you say that again? For some money, I can, Halbrecht. <laughs> and uh, what they did to Miniac was this. Uh, he took photos of another model that he didn't paint while he was at Warhammer World because he painted a big model for them and it ended up having correct me if wrong it wasn't even a mo the model he was photoing of it was something in the background or some shit it was of the Land Raider Proteus or the Land Raider Proteus which wasn't revealed which we yet, already knew about leaked. was the thing that stupid thing leaked like months before 
Yeah. Thanks. Now, Ruby or Demon Kilbosa? What is our next topic? Uh, I can shit on Ruby. That's easy. That's like, that's low hanging fruit. I mean, I can shit on the fundamentals and the inner workings of Rooster Teeth to shit on Ruby. Yeah, that works too. But also, who's excited tomorrow for some model train content? Woohoo. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 ba, dum. Ba, da, dun, 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 Shit on the new Red vs. Blue instead? No, they brought Bernie back to write the story for it. I mean, but it's kind of gone, so anyway, so... Red vs. Well, Blue is dead works. again. Yeah. The inner well, workings of my mind are... My, the inner did, machinations of my mind are an enigma. SpongeBob. They did, they did announce that they were going to fully release the final Red vs. Blue for free online before everything shut down. Oh, that's nice. That's nice of them. Do one final good thing. Fighting games with them. I'll be yeah. headed off for now. Let's thank you, Philo, for hanging out. Thank you, Philo. Have fun getting dumpstered on, probably. So, Xerxes, what happened was, um, Miniac took a photo of a miniature that he painted for Warhammer World, and at Warhammer World, in the background, was the Land Raider Proteus, which was publicly displayed for the public to see, but it hadn't been announced yet. And because he took a photo with that in the background, GW excommunicadoed him. Now, Miniac and Ninjon are big, great friends, and this is what caused Ninjon to start shitting on GW with his premises for YouTube videos. Yeah, like I said, it's it's stupid that they did that because we'd known about the leaks of the Land Raider Proteus for like. Four months already. Ever. Forever. So what is the deal with the White Dwarf artists? Okay, so mm -hmm. in White Dwarf, there was a f there was a collection of Space Marines that were painted as the different gay flags. Now, I'm separating my personal opinion from the I want to endorse everyone to paint stuff that they like. My personal opinion is this. I don't care for people painting the sexuality flags for their space marines or whatever, or for their Kriegers or whatever. I think it's kind of cringe, but that's the beautiful part. You should disregard my opinion if you still want to do something that you find fun, as long as it's not hurting anyone. Glory to the Rainbow Warriors. Yeah, the guys who were painted uh, cobalt blue. Yeah, damn uh, all that for a Horus Heresy model. Half the people won't care about. That's fair. Proteus does kind of fuck, though. Um, yeah, I still like the current so Land Raider. Yeah. So, the... Uh, so, that being said, it, that's my opinion. I'm not going to look at anyone differently for doing it. I'm just going to not like the paint job because I don't like the content being painted on there. And for whomever is whatever listening, that's an outsider in this. Because apparently credentials matter in this. I am not a straight man. I'm a bisexual man. And this is my opinion talking about painting uh, the LGBT stuff in Warhammer. So I'm not a pick me. I'm not whatever. I'm not a, you know... Straight white man. You're not Arc, in whatever is all you thing. gotta say. I'm not Arc. I'm God. I'm, I'm grateful I'm not Arc. I just I despise the I, I don't despise him. I I wanna be angry at him, but I mainly pity him for the way he he views people. But, he's but anywho. Wrong. Yeah, and, and very racist. Very racist. Uh yeah, David, that guy. You're not a Swede pretending to be British. He did that, didn't he? Yeah, that's yes, right. Yes, he did. Oh my god. But but anywho, so Cerberus is the person on Twitter who got famous for painting up Space Marines, Kriegers, and Plague Marines and stuff like that as the different uh, uh, sexuality flags. And 
and he posted them on Twitter. And here's the thing. Serb you see British? 100% <laughs> uh, Serb 100% uh, earned his spot on the White Dwarf magazine. Uh, Francesco Bishimi has a question for you. Now what? Uh what makes him here going for so these this is a side titan so it's just going to be it's gray it's normal like gray color and um so he deserves his position the thing that he uh the position he got the placing that he got for white dwarf for painting up those models serb is a talented artist anyone who denies that is denying it solely because of the content of his character which should speak to the content of his character he is very much a mean person on, on twitter and, and twitter endorses people being mean so once you once you become a wall cow you get traction however before he was even big he was a, he was a mean person in that regard I just want to know why you dissociate your sexuality with guys who rivet Aquilas to everything and kill anyone who doesn't believe what they believe. Exactly, Hellbrecht. That this all ties back into that Chud Hammer woke hammer stuff we've been talking about in the background. Um, Serb was very much part of the woke hammer crowd, uh, and when people who were not part of the woke hammer crowd, who did not like what people were saying or what how they wanted to change the hobby people like me who were not straight white men we were immediately treated worse than a straight my white man would by people like sir and that's the thing if you bring that up to them it's just it's ad hominem and that's a big reason why i don't like them and so there, that's why there's a lot of controversy. He is a person who espouses hateful things to people who disagree with him. And because of that, it becomes a lightning rod of activity and controversy due to the way that he acts and due to the fact that whether people believe uh, what they're saying or not to him, they're trying to get reactions out of him because they want to make a lol cow out of him. And it's worked. That's why there's a lot of controversy going on for the White Dwarf. And frankly, it's controversy they need, because apparently they need to sell more White Dwarfs. Well, I mean, only bought, like, three get, White Dwarfs. That isn't going to get people to buy a White Dwarf. Oh, yeah, speaking of White Dwarf, when I went to the thrift store, there was a shitload of them in the... There was a shitload of them in the display cabinet, because they're, like, selling them for five bucks each, thinking they're worth something, because they have Warhammer on the name. Yeah. Like, uh, these aren't gonna guess these things definitely aren't gonna sell yeah for five bucks a piece no the most who would want to buy them are collectors who like to like like digify everything yeah a wall cow is truly a tragic fate yeah digitize everything but yeah that that's why i don't like serb i don't i don't like the way that he treats people who who disagree with him and i don't like the fact that he attacks people because they are different from him and i think it's ironic that he strives to oh, yeah yeah a dozen issues worth five dollars that's funny jamie i like that your teacher is like is white dwarf still around is he okay is he secret is he safe but yeah and that's why I don't like the woke hammer group in general, because unfortunately he's not a lone actor in that type of way. He's very emblematic in the way that he acts and treats people, which is with hatred and malice. And I, for one, don't care for it. Just let me have fun in my funny spaceman game. Yeah, I mentioned Chris Chan making space Sonic shoes. Well. Don't go to his live streams whenever Chris Chan streams and don't tell about it. And, and Hellbrecht, it, it's... There's mainly... It, if you want to see lolcows in 
Okay, just Google Woe Camera on Twitter if you want to doom scroll, if you want to do that to yourself. There's a couple of notable ones. I've been fortunately blocked by them, so I don't see their shit. Aren't you blocked by them for responding to their shit? Uh, yes. Uh, the main one was, uh, was a, a trans lady who goes by Damon Faye Shea or whatever. They change it up once in a blue moon. Only reason I bring it up is because they got famous or infamous for saying that Warhammer 40k is the least welcoming group in that they often feel like a hated refugee for being a trans woman in 40k, which is further from the truth. Oh, we won't like you if you're a fucking dick. Yeah, which she was. And other trans women said, hey, no, I'm I'm in this hobby and I've been treated well. What happened? And she goes, you're denying me my uh, denying me what I'm saying. And then like would attack them, you know, ad hominem all that. Uh, so so victim mentality. Yeah, cry bullying. And uh, they they ban they blocked me. Because they were, they were, it was like four months later, and they were trying to say, I've been harassed and uh, doxxed and death threatened by so many different people in this hobby. You know, honestly, I just like hope they all like, you know, die or whatever. I don't really remember what she said, but it was something along those lines. And uh, I said, I, I said very pointedly to her, you have been a rude angry and hurtful person on on a website that thrives on people being angry and hurtful towards others everything you have done everything you've claimed done to you you have done to yourself and done to others and i'm not going to give you any sympathy for it <laughs> and that's when she blocked me and it was awesome because i didn't have to see her shit anymore <laughs> Galatians 4.16, that's all I gotta say. They hate me because I spoke the truth, Andy. Yeah, they always do. How was that eclipse, by the way? How was that fun for you? Uh, I got to see some of it, which was nice, as you saw by some of the photos I posted in Discord. Yeah, but I, you I always know phones don't always get... Whenever it comes to taking photos of, like the moon or the sun phones always end up being weird so i was wondering if did it look cooler to you like with your real like real person eyes oh uh, no the one i got with my phone was cooler one of them I'll oh shit post, i'll have to post in this because it was like it's you can see it breaking through the clouds and like the solar eclipse i sent me y'all for them to throw six dots i have out of all the nicknames I've been given, honey, I've gotten a new nickname for my for my online name. Ichysaurus Rex. Rex? Yes, that's what I said. One out of ten, what do you rate it? Oh you talking. Oh Roth. You got a two. Damn. I was rooting for you. <laughs> oh, I got another one, sweetie, for you. I get to rate. Uh, it, it comes with a disclaimer. Cake Boss. Yeah, this is getting annoying to paint. What do, what do you think of the nickname I've been given? Cake Boss. The reason I'm being called the Cake Boss is because I'm packing a whole damn bakery on my hind end. She's so disinterested in the cake boss uh, comment. She's now just looking at Instagram memes. Sorry, David. You don't even get a number. <laughs> Your meme game is weak. <laughs> David, I don't know if you heard it. She said the only reason I should be called cake boss is because I own her cake. Ah. Devious <laughs> Uh Don't turn her into Mrs. Ida. No, no, she'll never do an OnlyFans. She's pro she's an actual Catholic. Oh, 
how about the nickname I have of Thick Bard with two C's? Okay, you got a sure out of ten, Skelly. No, you're, you're God damn it, Roth, with the fucking dad jokes. I just woke up. Am I woke now? Okay, you just made that up. No one has ever called me Gun Bard, because I don't own any guns. Lost them in a boating accident. What are you talking about? Exactly. Pickler Ickbard, the fuck? Pickle Rick. Wubba lubba dub dub. Spotted, di spotted dick bard. <laughs> That's just delicious. Ick boat. <laughs> I'm so surprised no one has said Icholas bard yet. That was the nickname I gave you. Yeah, it was. But it's the internet. Of course, they're gonna try to take, uh, you know, credit for something they didn't fucking do. Yeah. Ick tart. That just sounds something like it. TOS, not not it, TOS friendly. Uh, Iktart sounds like uh, sounds like uh, like slang. I gave her the old Iktard last night. Icholas Cage, and of course, the ickiest of the sticky. Big lard. I have no idea what oh, the hell is going on with this stuff. It's that's even better. Mean. Fuck you, Jamie. Jamie. That's mean. <laughs> Fuck you. I have no idea what the hell is going on with this, but it's like, can you kind of see it on stream where it's like got like weird tide marks or something? <laughs> I don't know why and like it's thinned down to the normal consistency. You see what I mean? Uh, It's got to focus a little bit. Yes, I see. Like, I don't know why it's doing that. It's weird. I don't know either. Like it's, it's not even that. It's pretty old, but it's not that thin is the thing. Like I did that's how thin down it is, like you can see on my hand. It's like the perfect consistency. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see if I can find a really different pot of this stuff, because I know I have another one somewhere in here. <laughs> or We're making the ICU, so. the Ickbard cinematic universe. Maybe it's because this is like a new the new formula, that might be why. Skeleton. Uh I will never be Brit Bard. Uh America has to become a fundamentally fundamentally different place for me to consider leaving this great country. And Hellbreak, Nip Shart is just like ad living. Do we have enough Ickbards for the Bardverse? I'm more than enough Ickbard for you, don't worry. It's looking like box of paints to see if I have a better Corvus black or maybe it, I'm an idiot and I painted with the wrong color. Was I supposed to paint with ash and gray? Oh no. Tell oh, the no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We need an Ickbard OC and Ruby. I actually, when I was a teenager, uh, I made an OC for Ruby. Well, I guess let me do an experiment with ash and gray. To on a panel that I know I'm probably not gonna use, and then figure out that I'm a dumbass and I've been painting the wrong color this entire time. Ickbard, there's been a second boating accident. Oh my god! International <laughs> Canadian killer bard. Was that? Release the Ruby OC. Do you Thank really you want to hear what the, the Ruby OC was? Thank you for the YouTube subscribe. Hell Welcome. yeah, Danny. So I think Danny. I'm going to thin this down a bit too much. Oh, that's a good question. Roth is asking if is it picking up any residue from the alcohol paints on the tray? No, because I'm not using alcohol on the wet palette. Okay, so David. Uh, here was the Ruby OC. It was a character with like a big ass fuck off like kite shield that ha that basically had an axe that like fit into the side of it. The shield had like tubes on it and those are shotgun tubes. 
So you just like you slam the shield down into the ground because the shield, of course, is also a gun. Vampire shield gun. Yes. Uh, for semblance, I had something about like a leadership aura, like like a booster of like confidence or something like that, but I couldn't quite figure out the details for the semblance. Basically, it was, you know, build a tank workshop is basically was the was the idea to go for that OC. Like, what the fuck? None of my Ow. paint is like working. Devis rocket devis Shield shotgun. He was a. He was a. I don't know if it's my wet palette, maybe, although it's just water. <laughs> if our semblance is everyone within six inches, rerolls one. It was gun plus a random Jones. weapon. You're not wrong about not that, Jones. skeleton. Jean was just a homeboy. Imperial's weapon changed from gun to other weapons, not just gun plus weapon. I know, maybe Over. it's the fucking brush. I'm gonna try switching brushes. Good luck. However, Sun Wukong's gun nunchucks that turn into his staff were fucking baller. His semblance is to make it grippy. Over, I'll leave the over. Okay, later, Xerxes. Yeah, Xerxes, thank you for the lurk. Let's try this again. With different brush this time. Good luck. Grip bard. There are easier ways with uh easier ways to flirt with me than call me grip bard. Lips that grip bard. I do got them kissing lips. He's also got the them fat lashes, dude. I do have very thick eyelashes. If I were to cross dress, I wouldn't have to wear eyeliner. It's that thick. It's... We have ways. <laughs> Like, why is nothing going right right now? I do not know. I do not know, friend. It is just odd. Bard, how much for the Weiss Ruby cosplay photo shoot? Handy can be the no. dog. Well, that's that's racism, right? That no. <laughs> Why is Handy the minority the dog? Yeah, he's looking at me now. You can shoot him now. He just shot. Bird on tabletop would have a rule: once per game, all units within twelve inches have to roll on a d a d six. On a three plus, all units, including friendly units. Lose all ranged weapons on a boating accident. Oh. If you want me to do a Weiss or Ruby cosplay, you're gonna need to pay at least two grand. I'll do it. I'll do it for money. Dang, I don't have another thing Corvus Black. I thought I did. Hey, handy. Huh. How would you feel about cosplaying as Blake, but we gave you the white fang mask so you can still hide your identity? No. What if we did it for two grand each? Still no. Okay. So, so David, if you spend two grand, I will do it. He won't. Pipeline is open. Yeah, he probably won't. It means the two is like... You want to be the masked magician? Whatever the fuck his name was. 
I don't know what his name was. Charity, you think this is for charity, boy? This is for used... my pockets. Yeah, I think they used Esh and Gray, actually. When I'm looking at the photo. Like, kind of Esh and Gray, but not really. Let me look at the thing. David, taxes were... Uh, the last tax day was like April 5th, buddy. <laughs> the Astolfo. You're skinny enough for it. Yeah, I know, and I have a uh, bleep. <laughs> you have what? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh he, he's too shy to say he has a penis. Oh, <laughs> uh, the 15th? Okay. So after the 15th, you'll pay two grand, and then I'll cosplay as either Weiss or Ruby. Hey, Ickbrod, how did you afford to go to LVO this year? Well, you see. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not Eshin Gray, actually. It looks like on the website, it's Barbus Black with Eshin Gray dry brush. Interesting. It looks like, like an Eshin Gray glaze. Looking at it. But it does look like swapping paintbrushes did help, so it's something wrong with that paintbrush specifically. Hooray! Don't know what, there might be... Like, brush soap stuck in it or something? Vicvard is not immune to his ability. Roll 1d6 per unit within 6 inches of the Vicvard at the start of Vicvard's player's command phase. Any rolls of one suffer 1d6 auto wounds, no save, so devastating wounds. Uh, from his game store tournament smell ability. Oh, you calling me stinky? I mean, if he was, I don't think he'd have a wife. I just, well, she actually does not have the ability to smell mostly. It's very, huh. it's very, uh, reduced. Right, sweetie? You have a you have a very limited sense of smell. Clock since I've been like fifteen or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I am not the stinky guy in the store. Also, Jamie, I like that. Batman. I did a Ruby cosplay for two grand, Batman. It was good money. Good money, Batman. Guys call me stink bard. I'm not the stinky head. You're the stinky head. Hmm, wait a minute. You're all actually... stinky heads. That might actually look pretty good, actually. Let me think about that. Let me see. <laughs> Maybe. This movie's not stupid. You're stupid. Hmm. Let me see how this looks. So, a glaze of Corvus Black over Eshin. I don't know. Let me see. Everybody glaze handy. 420 blaze it. What? No, glaze handy. Which is in 11 days. No, glaze with a G. Ah. Uh. Time to shower you in, in meaningful compliments. David, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure I'm allowed to read that uh, uh, out loud on YouTube. This is some, See. this is, this is some weird fanfic that uh, the group is writing here. Chat's just being weird. Chat's writing fanfiction. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> skeet, skeet. Ah, oh, skeet skeet, motherfucker. Ah, oh, skeet skeet, goddamn. Thank you, Raw, for the super chat. Yeah, so how did everyone like the video I did? Apparently YouTube liked it because they actually pushed it. It was nice. Yes. 
Someone in the sure, chat called the put lost. ninja on question mark too. And I'm like, what? Oh, cause his his uh because that's his catchphrase to slay the gray. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, I didn't know. Like I've heard other YouTubers you didn't say like that. Or heart my my comment, and I and I hate you now. I heart, I thought I did. No, I'm left out here in the cold. What did you even say? Skeleton. On? Wait, what'd you even say? Because oh, it said, might have uh, might have held it. I said wholesome shit. I don't know. Because sometimes, like, the comments will show up in my thing and then they're not there on the video. It is always a valiant effort to work on your poo. Capital P, lowercase o, uppercase That might o. be why. Wild of opportunity. I hope your poo shrinks over time, Kate. Ah. That might be why. Damn. Back to loss. <laughs> Yeah, skeleton glazing doesn't mean in the sexual nature most of the time. It usually means, you know, giving high praise to a motherfucker. In my part of the vid, nothing. Hell yes, yeah, yeah. Alright, I am gonna walk away for a moment. I am going to uh, get myself some lunch. Okay. Gotta reheat some leftovers. Okay. I have no idea what the hell is wrong with this shit. It's starting to look a little bit better at least. So it might have just been that the brush had some leftover residue on it. Starting to get the coverage that I expect from this shit. Starting to get the coverage I expect from this paint. You paint good, thank you. Me appreciate it, cause me professional painter. Thank you for a compliment. Me paint real good. You getting inner circle companions? No, because I don't want to pay $60 for three miniatures that aren't even that good. GW is slowly pricing everyone out of Warhammer. Just like how, uh, what is it? The shitty new Sisters of Silence attachment that no one's gonna want to play. Uh, someone did the math. You wanna know how much money it costs to have an entire Sisters of Silence army? Like an entire army of just Sisters of Silence. It costs seventeen hundred dollars. Costs one thousand seven hundred dollars just to have an, a Sisters of Silence army. And I said it at the start of the stream and I'll say it again. The new the new detachment they showed today is ass. It is absolute dog shit. Wall space. Yeah, it's not as bad, but here's the thing. Sisters of Silence are the the secondary thing to custodies. What is your question? Two thousand dollars too much to places of silence. Yeah, I know. At that point, just give them their own damn codex, pretty much. Which is actually kind of what they did, which is just gave them half a codex. Will you get all custodians in the and you're not paying with it? No, I'm not. I definitely am not. Funny thing is I was making a video for that. 
that's an idea for a video I need to record. I'm going to post uh, next Saturday, not this coming Saturday, the Saturday after when the codex goes live so I can hit that sweet, sweet algorithm for the custodies. Another broken promise. Shut up. It's not my fault. I didn't think I would, wouldn't be able to do it. Well, I mean, I have modified the goal now. I want to paint a, wor a functioning army of custodies that doesn't include the vehicles, which is the tanks. Like a functioning list, and I can do that. I just keep being shit. My darkness coast might actually be okay. That's you're 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 out of line, but you're right. <laughs> You're out of line, but you're right. And I hate that you're right. Fix the dreadnuts. I don't think we're going to get that because uh, we're probably not going to get that till the next data slate, unfortunately. And what the f fuck? Isn't Codex Street? This is the Codex Staircase. I mean, yeah, you're probably right about that. I need to zoom my camera out too. I forgot about that. That's my Elder OP. They're getting their Codex last. Well-deserved Codex being last. If I say so myself. They got their time to shine. Their time is up. It can be in the gutter from now on. It would be funny, but I, I doubt it will happen. Uh, what if war faction is doing good, the L faction does terrible and vice versa. Eh. That'd be yeah, funny. Rip me. David, why? Andy, I need to just check a meme and memes and make sure it's okay. Because it's on that line for me, but our lives are different. Uh, let me see it. No, get rid of it. Smite it, Ichbod. It is not good. Smite gotcha. thy post. I just grabbed my literally M42. Where's Saul when you need it? They're not sure. Yeah, we're bots. Rest in peace, Gib Gub. He needed to get good. And the Night Lords don't even uh, worship corn. They just do their own thing. Very fitting. No shit posting time for Emperor posting. You have a moment yes. to talk about our Lord and Savior, the God Emperor of Mankind. With the grace and the might of our Lord. I also find it funny how the conversation now on Twitter is just shifting between like how fascist is 40k and uh hell divers. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, Momitia literacy. Fright Lords, am I right, fellas? Hey, Andy, you want to guess what I'm having for lunch? Really? 
Mm. Baby back ribs. Chili's baby, baby, baby back, ribs. back ribs. I'm actually going there tomorrow night for dinner. Oh, nice. I'm going there to tomorrow night for dinner with uh, Mrs. Ickbird and Papa Ickbird. Ah. The Baba Kusols. Oh, yeah, I got to ask you about that thing you uh, messaged me about in the Illuminati chat a week ago. I mean, person. Ask you about uh, it after the stream to expand upon it. Something that we want to talk about. I mean, if you want to talk about okay. it on stream, you can, but if you don't want to. I'm trying to figure out what the thing was. Uh, is the uh, last week you said, right? Yeah, you were cooking dinner. Uh, thing happened. You had to do your American duty. Just cooking dinner. Oh, yeah. So someone was trying to check if the front door of my apartment was unlocked. Very aggressively. While I was getting ready to cook dinner. Yes. I'm gonna try to break it. Um, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. God damn it. You're being very robot. One minute you're sucking up all the internet. I'm my phone. So then my phone is on the internet. I literally only use my PlayStation. Okay. It's PlayStation downloading an update. The, the switch is turned off. The, 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 Ickbar so is the PlayStation uh, is something oops. downloading an update. I think I'll backwards, but that no. no. Is your Steam open and downloading an update? No, it's not. No. I remember back when I had shit internet, that's what usually caused the internet to slow down. I'm still sounding terrible, ain't I? Yeah, you are. Unfortunately. I'd like to know what the fuck is wrong with this paint. Is it like separating or something and it's causing this? Like, I put on so many layers of this paint that it shouldn't be doing that. It should be all uniform. The fuck? Not wearing no. Here's the problem. I've used this paint multiple times before. It's what I used on my um on my other Titans. Like I have used this paint multiple times on all my other Titans, and it's worked just fine. And I think this is the same paint pot too. I know it isn't. This is not the same paint pot. It's an older one. Oh god! What the hell? Still bad. Not even worse. No. Yeah, sounds bad. No. Old bottle, maybe? This is like one I bought like a couple months ago. So it can't be old. Like it's coating just fine on my my hand. I don't know what the hell is going wrong. Might just be that over time the consistency is becoming shit on the palette. It's like Titan's psychic power is causing the paint to split from the medium. I 
problem is that I can't see that happening with this paint because it's such a, it's a heavy body pigment. I don't see why that'd be happening. They're being, this isn't a dropper bottle. It's this. The paint pot. Looks fire. Uh, no, I have not seen the trailer for it. What is it about? And should I even care? Cause it's Star Wars and Star Wars is kind of dead to me. Airbrushing can fix. That'd be nice if I, uh, if I could use my airbrush. But I can't. Made by Dave Filoni. I mean, he, some of the stuff he's made, uh, hasn't been great. Ahsoka wasn't that good. That's all your paints to dropper bottles. I need to. I have a bunch of them still. It's just it's gonna take a long time. Somebody. It kind of just feels like Obi Wan again, but worse. I don't know, they... buddy. Sound better. It sounds like they're trying to push Reva, okay. like the character everyone hated in Obi Wan, whatever the heck her name was. Oof. That's what that animated show sounds like to me. Blue red fucking paint cover nicely. God damn it. Yeah, I had to. Uh, someone did try to break into my, uh, my apartment. Uh, you wanted to talk about that? I was asking if you wanted to talk about it, not me. Like what your dad said about it. Oh. Um. Um, he hasn't got home. You're but still breaking up. Talk about God. Damn. It. Okay, it's starting to look better now. So it just means I need to I need to put the paint on a lot thicker. Like it needs to go on, but like in a nice coat that is kind of, it's still thin, but it's really, it's like, it's not close to glaze consistency. Like I've been doing, that might be why it was fucking up. Cause these are starting to look better now, these two. So that's what it probably was. It needed to be a bit. I don't know who Barris is from the Clone Wars. Who? Barris Coffee Barris. or whatever. Is that their name? Barris Coffee or Offy? All I know is that Oz Ben Chris is They're back. They're breaking up still. Wow. Didn't you know in Star Wars, no one ever truly dies? Uh, damn it. In Star Wars, no one's ever really dead. Especially now.
glory to the Empire. Lord, I have to deal with one Empire's then now. Deal with another one. Glory to Super Earth. Turn your paint bottle on and off again. No, I haven't tried that yet. Let me try it. A lot of the Terra's during Clone Wars anime show because she wasn't happy with the. Is that that one Jedi's apprentice or something that went bad and rogue? That was Ahsoka's friend. And I remember everyone thought that plot point was specifically stupid. Praise me to Space King. Should have just had her some chilies, baby back rib. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's why they're doing a show with a character that no one likes. How, how, how is this the how, one that's being banned by what? Lady? What? What? I can't hear you. You're breaking up again. Uh, <laughs> Did you remember to thin it. your router with paint mixers? Let me go do that right now. Glory to Super Or through control cyber stand. I don't know. I haven't played I haven't logged on to Helldivers in a couple days. All I know is that we pushed the bots back and now they're back again. Damn bastards don't know when to quit. Guard is streaming from Cyberstan. <laughs> My stuff's not getting better. Best luck, pain. Okay, later, Rick Bard. Dang. Glory to the automatons. No. Got ourselves a bot sympathizer in here. Bots are bad because they take civilians, they rip their brains out, and make them fight against their own people against their will. We don't need to eradicate the bugs entirely. We just need them for their oil. The bugs are our oil source. They can live as long as we want them to. Only reason they're still around is because they're necessary for democracy. There's a little hair follicle I need to rip up. Humanity first, space elves last. Yes, yes. Staying dirty space elves. Humanity number one, baby. Watch those wrist rockets. It's 
You tried, skeleton. You tried. That's all that counts. You tried. That's all that matters. We know what you meant. Okay, that's looking way better. So yeah, I just do have to put it on a bit. Blech. That looks good. He paints it thick. With two C's. Okay. Uh, that part looks good. Actually, a little bit more paint on this. And then I think I gotta look at the Titan's uh, feet again. Just to see how well that's covered. Because I've kind of neglected that along with the parts on the um the weapons these ones but paint is your favorite by taste spicy contrast metallic speed paint hmm i don't know all paints taste good especially the ones with cadmium yellow in them Those ones I hear, those ones are pretty tasty. Those some pretty tasty paints. Ugh. I've been painting Corvus black for how many hours already? Just trying to get it to make a smooth coat. How many hours? Almost three hours of painting Corvus black. I think moot green has the most robust flavor. I think it kind of has a mooted flavor. Okay. Eh. Okay, there we go. Look at the feet. Yeah, they need a bit more. Those are just right here, though, because the other spots are going to be pain in the ass to do. All that was lying around, so I mean, jet bikes, even sniper apples, place in the single wing. Really nice. The old pot and the color of white is great, but the taste is amazing. Mmm, yes, lead flavored paint. Delicious. Uh, ugh, excuse me. Delicious lead flavored paint. Mmm, yummy. Very yummy lead flavored paint. Mmm, yummy. Very tasty. Now I gotta wait for this shit to dry some more. I think these are good. Yeah, these are good. Okay. These ones are good. All the armor panels I think are good. Let me check this one. These should be the last ones I have to do if they're not. Yeah, these ones are bad. They're not the consistency that I want. They're not having the coverage that I want, so I gotta slap a bunch more paint on it. Slap the paint on it. Thank you, Sweller. Don't eat... <laughs> Don't eat lead paint. 
You can't tell me what to do. I'm here to steal myself. Here's that instead of just my models. Sounds delicious. Okay, where is that one? This one right here, I remember? Yeah, it does. There it is. This part has a really bad little. Air follicle and microfiber, whatever it is, stuck in it. Okay, there we go. Those are all nice and covered. So now, next part is the fun part that I wanted to try. Which is, I'm going to try doing some sponge brush techniques, right? Use the tweezers. See the post about the leader player? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Okay, Halbrecht, no. Nah. No. Doesn't need that, you damn Slaneshi worshipper. Worshipler of Slanesh. No. We stand the Imperium here. We worship the God Emperor of Mankind. Not everything does. That sounds like a major kill if he was off his meds. Albrecht, no. I ain't painting that. I would never paint that. Okay, now, where are my tweezers? Because I'm going to start trying this little technique. Tweezers, where are you? I had you like a couple days ago. I used you for stuff. Where the fuck are my tweezers? Here they are. Not that one, this one. Hello, Caboose, how are you? Three dollars now. Yeah, so let me. This is thinned enough, so. Try this uh, with an experimental piece, actually. Four dollars, no. One's got a price. And it's also called People Have Standards, too. Just saw the custodian's attachment. Hello, Chrono. How are you? Yeah, the custodian's detachment is kind of ass. Well, not kind of. It, it is ass. It's bad. It's really bad. Mm. Oh, Ryan does games. Oh, okay. Welcome. On the YouTubes today. I'm going to go take a nap. Yep, later, skeleton. Have a good nap. I'm not sure. I mean, it looks fine when it dries, kind of. Okay, let's try it. $50 and an AUG. I already have an AUG. 
Well, I had one, but I lost it in a tragic boating accident. I think also this might be too big of a piece of a uh, of foam. Need a smaller piece of foam. Get, get off, tweezers. No, now it's getting soaked in the alcohol. Take it. Yeah, fifty dollars in an AUG is like. Let's see, that's like twenty five fifty. $2,500.50 because AUGs are expensive. Oh, wait, did I ever get this thing to have full coverage on it? Well, these did. That's nice to know. Just everything else with being a massive pain in the arse. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm a dreadnought in local game store. Game with a discount and GO price coming in two weeks. Come over to nice. $50 and I'll be your friend. But what? Aren't we all homies here? We all share in the camaraderie that is spending money on plastic crack. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the sponge technique that much. Where is one of my dry brushes? My teeny tiny ones. I left them in the bathroom. Any dollars in a hug. No, I'm not. I am not going to paint the cursed Slaneshi Titan. I will not paint it. Oh, they're right next to me. They were right. They were right next to me all along. Oh, my God. I just didn't realize it. Oh, excuse me. Dry brushes were the friends we made along the way. I don't know. Okay, where's Eshin Gray? I want to do a test. $90 and I'll fix California. What are you talking about? That's not possible for California. It's going to take billions of dollars and they're not even going to fix it. What makes you think that's going to fix it easily? It's not. It's California we're talking about. Okay, where's the other one? This is a good test, too. Before I go, I did say it since I'm going to do for Imperial House. Well, there's an extra after you get what we need, so you can use it to exercise the scrap, cut out your cards, rider piece. <laughs> Thank you, Skeleton. I appreciate it. How many Titans? What? What do you mean, how many Titans? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's test this. Ah, uh, no, I have an even better idea. How do a members thing work? I was gifted a membership. There's I can't say for it's the ah. Phase for a, you have it for a month. It's a one month membership that got gifted to you to the channel. And if you are in the discord, hook it up so you can get access to the super secret channel only for Coscodians. For example, make one of them. No, that is even worse. Heck no. Oh, hell of a wreck. No, none of the Slaneshi stuff here. We're not doing the Slaneshi Titan. It looks like we have to do two layers of dry brush to get the effect I want. It's going to be this color all over it and then some Eshin, not Eshin Gray, Nurgle Titan, Mechanicus Standard Gray is what I'm going to use. 
Nurgle Titan's too much work. Roth, no. Oh, that looks pretty nice, actually, the way I got this. Nice little subtle color shift compared to this one, as you can kind of see. Looks pretty good. Ravius, no. No, Halbrick, no. Stop encouraging him, Raw. <laughs> okay, and so I don't want that. They want that. They're being filthy worshippers of Slanesh. Okay, yeah, that looks good. How's it look next to that one? A bit more. I'm joking. You guys better be joking, although half the time I can't tell if you are. You guys can be kind of unhinged at times. Oh yeah, that looks good. Ash and gray. This little dry brush building up looks good on this. Oh, it's gonna look so good. It looks so good when it's done. So compare it to this panel and you see the difference already. It's a little bit lighter, it'll get even better. Campaigning for this dream though. It's nice to have dreams if that dream ain't happening. What's up, Jax? How you been? Welcome back. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing some model railroad stuff. Right now I'm just doing some various dry brushing to build up the gray color that I want for the panels. Bunch of yard work down beat. Ah, nice. Reward yourself with some painting. Yeah, but yeah I have some uh, HO scale hopper covered covered hopper cars to assemble tomorrow from Kato. 
because I found them for I found three of them for 40 bucks. Is your brain back in stock yet? I don't know. I don't know if Rowboat Gorilla Man's wife is back in stock yet. The Sonic Cherry Limeade, nice. Is that the same? I need to make sure the... Yep, yeah, that's good. And I think I could build it up a bit more right here. Yeah, this isn't as built up. Coloration. Needs more. More! No, my local hobby store they got trains and Warhammer kits. Yeah, I know I'd love it. I wish there was a train store near me, but there isn't one for like 300 miles. It fucking sucks. You have to explain it to the people in your house. Yeah, you would. Have fun trying to explain that. Why is your Titan like that? Uh, reasons. Why does your model kit look really like it's like it's from uh, Japan? <laughs> oh, that looks good. Still temporary. I don't know. Have you not found it on like any other online store, Roth? Yard sales. Oh no, it was it wasn't a yard sale. Um, I didn't find the train at a yard sale. It was on eBay because it was a build your own hopper car kit, and I guess the person didn't want to build them. They were selling it for forty bucks when they normally go for like ninety to one hundred twenty dollars, depending on the road name. I just got I got Chesapeake in Ohio. Good old CNO for my uh, Allegheny. The next one. Any shop keeps trying to get me to buy trains with those army <laughs> Dublo trains are scary. Double O. Buy a horn the wait, yeah, you're you're in you're in the UK, right? Because you put 500 pounds, not dollars. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I mean, my Allegheny's horn bee. It's a uh, well, no, it's um, it's a River Rossi horn bee because horn bee took over River Rossi a while ago. River Rossi was originally from Italia. Before they went out of business in Italia. Then Hornby bought them. I keep building up the color until I get it to where I like. And get to build up the color again with um 
Mechanic is standard, probably. Well, I'll test on one of the other panels before I do that. I want to make sure it looks good. Okay, next panel. Gonna slowly build up the color. Might take a while, which honestly it does take a while using this technique of kind of dry brushing, but not really. Like getting as much of it off as possible just to get it to sh then show through. Like glazing, but not glazing, kind of. Honestly, you're still trying to keep resolution out by still paint at least half the pile. Good luck with that, Rolf. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. If anything, ever people are going to get through their stuff faster than I can, that's for sure. Need more paint on this side. It's not going through nicely. It's not covering nicely in some spots. Now it is. There we go. You guys can't see because I'm dumbass. Okay, there we go. There's those ones. Next one. I need the leg. Faster because I don't get anywhere near your level. <laughs> yes. That is very true. I would say getting on my level is not a very good idea. Snare Raven by Separate Dark Vengeance. Well, do you mean by standard Raven Wing bikers? Do you mean Black Knights or just the old bike kits that are now retired? You can see what I'm the effect I'm going for how this side's a bit brighter than a little bit brighter than the other And then when I get to doing the next color, which is Mechanica standard gray I will do it very lightly and it'll look even better All by kids and Raven Wing ones. I wanna Do you mean are they called Raven Wing Black Knights or Raven Wing Command Squad? Because those don't those are just like Dark Angel specific units. They don't have anything, they don't have an upgrade kit with them. Ravenwing Bike Squad, and I am, I'm not sure actually, it might be, it might be, I don't, I don't, I have no clue actually. Good comparison as you can see, the two different colorations of this one and this one. I want it to be like that, I'm not sure if I actually, do I want to do Mechanicus Standard next? 
Oh yeah, I think it might have some upgrades on it. If they're if they specifically say they're Ravenwing, if not, they might not have it because it's just like oh, they're under the Ravenwing category because you can paint them as Ravenwing. That might be it. I honestly can't tell you. I never got any of those bikes because I honestly didn't look like the way they looked. Especially since when I started collecting Space Marines, that was around the time the new Outriders came out. I mean, upgrades to the land speeder. I don't know if it's the full kit. It might be. If it's the full kit, then yeah, but it might just be certain parts. Or it could just be the old um, Dark Angels upgrade kit, like the small one where it's just shoulder pads and stuff. You might have to look it up to see what's in it. I'm starting to lose the... Down. No, don't get stuck my finger. Stupid thing. I honestly have no clue. Okay, let's do a comparison between those two parts. Where are they? Because I need to make sure. At least look similar. Yeah, they do. Okay, that's good. You start also separating these. Ah, oh, shit. It's going to be a bit awkward doing this because I got to be really careful that I don't get on here. And then I also do have to paint that too. I forgot I got to paint that. I need to do that. That one's probably just going to be the same dry brushing that I did earlier, but hopefully it doesn't fuck it up and I need to if I do that. That's probably gonna be next stream because I have to wash out more stuff. I only cleaned two of my dry brushes. Well, I cleaned the two small ones I used last time, the two big ones. I didn't do anything with the other ones. Next purchase thing seems much the upgrade bits and add to the old bugs. Oh, okay. Okay, then that's good. Needs a bit more. Wild Custodes Jetbox uses Black Knights. Oh, have fun with that. Because you're going to need to get rid of some of the Custodes gubbins on them then. It's going to look weird if you don't get rid of some of the Custodes parts on them. I gotta do that to the side titan bit too. If I say my chapter stole them, well, I'm saying the scaling because there's not gonna be. The custodies are a different scale from the Space Marines, is what I'm saying.
It's just because that means you also got to replace the guy that's on the jet bike. My bad part about this is I have to make sure that the shading is kind of uniform across it too. Let me look on camera. Yeah, that looks good. Biggest test is how do these two look next to each other on camera. And this one needs a bit more. Everything torso to Ryan Boot Scott. Yeah. You might also have to scrape off some of the custodies like iconography on the boots then too, because there's a couple of the single headed eagles on them. The single headed eagle is exclusively a uh, custodies thing. Whoops, get back in frame. Okay, that's much better. And looking next to each other. Almost there for this one now. I just gotta look down this way for this. Okay, that looks good. I would paint those symbols white and color because it's in the pair of seagulls. No, they're, they're just seagulls. I don't know what you're talking about, Inquisitor. Those are seagulls. Those aren't those aren't single-headed eagle aquilas for the uh, custodies. That's just it's just a seagull. How do they scale compared to art riders? Um, so I used one as a Talon Master kit bash and also Samael kit bash, but I replaced the riders and the jet bikes work just fine. I still never painted that Samael kit bash though. <laughs> Never got around to painting it.
Yeah, about the same size. Sorta. Oh boy, this little dry brush and techniques gonna take a while. And I gotta be really careful too when I also paint all the trim. Like emphasis on real careful. Not enough, damn it. I think this might be good, maybe close to being good. I gotta get a bit more up in this direction, also a little bit in the corner right there. Okay, compare the two. I think this one needs a bit more right here. Yeah, I did need a bit more now. It's starting to look correct. They removed the Dark Angels, Lieutenant? Yes, they did. They removed it along with a couple other things, which is kind of a mean thing to do without telling anyone. Like, oh, here's your last chance to get this miniature. They just did the classic, we're not going to tell anyone, and now it's gone. Sucks to be you, loser. Is pretty much what they did. Which was our real dick move. Real dick move. Eh, you get used to it. A GW fucking with you. Ah. What happened to this one? What the hell? The fuck? Oh, come on, really? God dang it. I think I need to swap dry brushes because this one's starting to shit out on me. Dang it. Now I need to repaint over this too. Gum it.
Yeah, I need to repaint over it. God dang it. Hey, gum it. What about a lottery ticket and all the numbers were the four numbers the winning number the first number is a match oof that do be how it be that do be how it be unfortunately so close yes so far how many more panels do i gotta do i gotta do that one again one two legs hard on that that many yeah i can get through it easily What's up, DND? How are you? What's up, Dominant? How are you? How you doing? Okay. Swap. To shake this up. Can at least get the Powerball to win anything. Yup. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Mechanicus Sand of Grey part. You got home from work, probably won't stick around though. Ah, that's fine. It's just saying drop by, say hi is fine too. Okay, let me test it on this so I'll know it works. Off by two numbers, oof. Yep, that works. Okay, so I'll grab the one I fucked up on and do that one again. There we go, much better. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Dominant. Right now I'm just doing some dry brushing shading effects to blend the colors. This tire work has been rough lately. I haven't been it's 40k lately. Oof. Eh, I understand. It's fine. Everyone has unlimited time to work on Warhammer. Morning, Hades, or is it afternoon for you? We're at late night. Seven a.m. for me. Ah, okay. Morning for you. Well, good morning. Good morning. Guys, come on. I need you to be at least some semblance of same shade. And best way to check is just put it up against this. Yep, that's good. Next. First game since last year. Fought seven Demon Princess. Calabunga it is. Oof. That sounds like not a lot of fun. And why did the person bring seven Demon Princes? It's Jason Bourne. Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Oh, 
Okay, it looks good. Now for this part. Open that, it looks good too. It doesn't get fucked up. Belgor to give them all an offer two against the full gun army. Oof. What a dick. A dick. That one. I gotta do these ones next. And then the other one. I'll do this. So these three panels, then another four, five, eight panel, ten panels. Ralejo Pale Flesh is great. I have never used it, so I wouldn't know if it's great, but I'll take your word for it. With an impulsor full of eliminators. Damn it, isn't doing this again, word. Get a bit more coverage on y'all. A nice transition. There we go. Okay, it's starting to look better. A lot better. It's just a lot of work to do this. I'm trying to dry brush without getting the ugly, like, dry brush remnants or whatever you usually get, like, where you can tell it's been dry brushed. It doesn't look that great. So far, it's looking good. Then he manages to kill someone in the armored hull, so he gets extra bloody treads. Yeah. Good enough, I think. I think what I might do to darken it down is also hit it with a wash or a glaze too of my original color. I make it look better and darken it down a bit more because if I do try to punch up the color from um, with Mechanicus standard gray which I'm gonna experiment with first and then I'll see how it looks
If that looks good, that's what I'll go with. Not going to be difficult because it's going to want to move a lot. Only pain in the ass part is when I have to do the runes on here and then do the little glowing effect on it. That's not going to be very fun to do. Same with, like I said, I've got to do all of the trim very carefully. I think the trim is going to be the least fun part. You've got to try and not fuck up the nice paint job I did. With a nice little shading effect I have. Uh, this is the, the Psy Titan, so it has what's called the Sinistratum Tenebrae. Psy Titan is a Titan that has a bunch of Alpha Grade Psychers hooked up to it. That powers its weapon, so it's literally firing a Psychic Beam weapon. And being around it like causes your soul to be rendered from your body too because it's basically one giant blank. Psy Titan is just one giant blank. I don't know about that. Okay. Oh, these parts took so long, but they look good. A nice little shading effect you can kind of see. We got these panels left. Part of the feet I got to do too. Mm, Templates of Chaos Gods get in migraines. Psy Titans are really rare is the problem. They're operated by the Ordo Sinister, which if I remember correctly is a part of the Inquisition. Well, no, it's not part of the Inquisition because not even the Inquisition knows of the existence of Psy Titans if I remember correctly. Shit. I know the Emperor knows of them because he ordered them to be created. Mechanicus thinks they're a myth. But they're not. Under control of Kaldor Drago. I don't know about that. But he's the bestest marine. No, he's not. Okay, you Matt Ward. Okay, Matt Ward.
Bat War and Araki Kato Sicarius. How dare you, Matt Ward? You ruined the Ultra Smurfs and Grey Knights. You're the reason no one likes the Ultra Smurfs or Grey Knights. I got a C2. Does that look? Can I see on camera which ones are similar? Yes, I can. Okay, so those are looking good. Gonna do this one right here. Aww. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. I have just been painting these damn gray panels for almost four hours now. Oh boy. I mean, they're looking pretty good. And I gotta see. This one's not looking good. We never get a space marine units that have only have heavy stuff. That's called Horus Heresy Marines. Horus Heresy. Horus Heresy Heavy. Can't remember. I'm pretty sure Horus Heresy Tack Marines have a heavy stubber upgrade kit for the heavy weapons team. It just means every single one of them is carrying a Browning 50 cal. Yeehaw! Hurricanes and Alkins? I don't remember, honestly. I know they have something. They have something. Nope, gotta put more paint on the brush. Brush, 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 gotta dry brush. Yeah, this Titan's gonna be so cool. When it's all nice and done, I can't wait. All I know is that for Mechanica standard gray step, you have to be very, very careful. There was only a smidge better than bolters. Box of 10 like two years ago. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, though, a stubber is just like every single stubber weapon is just a variation of the browning. Good old John Moses Browning with his 50 cal. Yep, those are good. They, they're exactly the color I want them to be. A bit more towards the top though, right this corner right here. Okay, that looks good. I, I'm probably not going to use the tilt shields in all honesty. 
And I might as well just give them a bit of a little dry brush. Let's say Serene out there who is alive before they could easily carry a browning. Oh, there was interesting, really interesting. It's still never like that. Still looks like shit. <laughs> and this is like the tilt shield one. Yeah, this was me. For this one, was trying to get a like try the sponge technique, and I didn't like the way it looked. On both of them, probably just get to redo it. Yeah, I probably have to repaint these two because these are the tilt shields. Ones. I'm not sure I even want to use these ones in all honesty because that means I got to use more decals too, and I don't want to do use too many decals. I only have so many burning of Prospero decals. And those are the ones a lot of people use for this side titan without having to do all the runes, like freehand them. It's honestly much easier than doing the freehand. Tarot fell to the furries, yeah. The furry marines. <laughs> Forget. Space wolves. Fucking furries. A little bit too much. down here with the fuck okay there's plenty of paint on here it looks fine it'll look better and not as because this is a smaller panel, it's going to look a bit weird. But it'll look a lot better. And there's a slight little glaze over it of the original color. Hopefully it won't be as bright. And it'll give that nice color transition that I want. I think I gotta do it multiple times right here because it doesn't look that great on some of these, although they look fine. Yeah, they look fine. That's the problem. There's some little spots on here that do not look fine on them. Ah oh, shit, don't 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 drop it. Plus also because the feet also have the gray on them, I'm not really going to be able to do the same effect on the feet because it messes up the trim a little bit. Actually, I think I can. It's just I'm not sure it's even worth doing. And this is the time it's worth doing. Eh, not really, but I'll just do a little bit anyway, so it's a little bit of a highlight. Like the one of the, the legs moved because um I made it so it moves. 
If you're building any of the Titanicus Titans like um the Warlord, the Warbringer, or the Warmaster, I highly recommend just for ease of painting that you glue one leg stiff and then the other one just free floating. Because it makes it a lot easier to paint. But I have one of them free floating so I can just move it if I need to. One of the easy painting tips I can give people. I did have a Satanist, but only with those tiny Imperial Knights. Yeah, I mean, you can. That's what they were originally intended for. Imperialis was a afterthought, honestly. Although people kept begging GW to make a resurgence of Warhammer Epic. And they pretty much did, but it's only Horus Heresy, and that pissed a lot of people off because people wanted to play Warhammer 40k Epic. Again, pissed a lot of people off. Kind of myself included. But I did want it to be against Xenos also. That's the way the old Warhammer 40k Epic was, was you fought Xenos. Which was the more interesting part of it. Because you got things like Eldar Titans, Gargants with Orcs. That's where the squat uh, land train came from too. It was from uh, Epic, I believe. Which is why when squats made a comeback, I was like, oh my god. I want to get the, uh, the thingy, you know, the thing. The squat land train for epic, heck yeah. And then we find out that it's just Horus Heresy and a lot of people were pissed off. And so why with that thing that Ickbard read saying that people are pissed about Imperialis because they wanted it to be with, against Xenos and not playing Horus Heresy. I mean, people would have been fine with it being Hor having Horus Heresy only stuff, but not really. <laughs> You just had to have Xeno stuff too, because not everyone wants to play fucking Space Marines, is the thing. And I understand it's GW doesn't want to just wants to do Space Marines because then they can test to see how successful Epic is, and if it's successful, then they can do the Xenos and stuff. But apparently, with the thing Ickbard read, Epic uh, Imperialis ain't doing too great. Although that play on tabletop episode is really nice. Okay, there we go. That's good. Ah, oh, I gotta do it too. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. I gotta do it for the for this part, and then also the part on the torso too. Let me do the torso part first, since that'll be faster. It was like between the horse and Monterey K, we can get a mini model of Xenos. Right. Yep. But GW decided they know it's best, not the fans, so people didn't get their the cool stuff they wanted. I gotta be careful too, because I don't want to get any of this gray on that, and I can already see... It's actually looking pretty good, the transition, the color transition. Just gotta build it up a bit more. Yeah, it's looking better. A whole lot better. Ah, 
Oh, wait, fuck. I forgot I got a paint in here, too. Shit. The paint Corvus black in there, too. Son of a bitch. I knew I was forgetting something. God dang it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And I do need to do this effect on one of these. So that way I have an idea of what it'll look like when it gets washed. They do look similar, right? That one's still a bit brighter. I did the sponge technique on it. I think this one. Yeah, this one's similar, so I just do it on this one instead. Really quickly. But I don't look like unless I also fuck this one up too. Oh wait, no, I think I did because I did a glaze on this one too. Fuck. I have Ross the Drip Wake, yeah. Ah shit, dropped it. Okay, this one looks a lot more like how it should be on the other panels. Now when I go to do the little glaze, it'll look better. Yep, those two pretty much look the same. Well, they look the same to me. Oh, I know, I didn't even dry brush it as heavy right here, that's why. Hello, Warzags, how are you? I'm gonna guess you play orcs, welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome, how you doing? Put that aside because it's my experiment piece. And now I gotta do the effect on this. Paint model, please close. Seems more like a Tau guy to me, something about him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I think he, I think he might play Tau actually. I'm pretty sure it's Tau. Good enough paint off of there. Now I need to carefully do it without hitting that. Rattlings, ah yes. Another good choice. Gonna slowly build up the color I want. Everything down here still needs to be painted with the silver, not silver, the bronze that I have. That looks good. So look at that side. Right to that side. Got a nice little 
color transition. It's kind of like the airbrush technique people do, but it's using a dry brush instead. Now I gotta do it on this side and hope it comes out nicely. The Emperor was so powerful, why didn't he fight a billion lions? I don't know why he didn't fight a billion lions. He probably didn't want to. I mean, he actually probably did, because why do you think lions are extinct on Terra? Lions are extinct on Terra because the Emperor fought all of them. And he just secretly had a grudge against them. Which is why they were slowly going extinct in the earlier parts of uh, the history of uh, 40k. <laughs> he wanted it. Yeah, he wanted a nice like giant room on the Imperial Palace, just covered with lion pelt. And he's like, hmm, what should I name my first son? Hmm, I remember I made a bunch of lions go extinct on Terra. Made a really nice rug. I'll call my first son Lionel Johnson. Gino Bomb denied. My first son's name shall be Lionel. Although, are we sure we didn't name he didn't name Lionel Johnson after the trains? Maybe like Lionel trains. We have no idea how the lion got his name. Could have been after Lionel trains. Could have been after the after the billions of lions that the Emperor slaughtered to make a nice carpet in the Imperial Palace? We'll never know. Because of Lego... God, that's a, that's a Lego series I haven't heard in a long time because it literally failed a year later. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. Looks very good. Gone too soon. In the arms of an angel. Okay, now I need to paint all the damn little panels back here. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Just gotta be careful now that I don't fuck up any of the metallics I have on the sides. Oh wait, no. That's just gonna be bronze. Do I want it to be bronze? It probably honestly look. It's gonna look better if I just paint it like how I should have at the start. It'll look a lot better if this is actually paint on this, because that's how I did my other Warlord Titans. Just the problem is now, you gotta be really careful that I don't get it on these metallics on the inner area, because that was a pain in the ass to paint. It was a pain to do this uh, color effect. I will forever also hold a grudge against Hero Factory for retiring Bionicles and then that slowly dying out like a year later <laughs> or two years later. I don't know what Lego exec thought it was a good idea to retire Bionicle when it was the best-selling Lego series. 
right after Lego Star Wars. But whatever Lego is that thought that was a good idea, they're stupid. What was the I wasn't really into Ninja Go. That was after my time. Lego Ninja Go was after my time as a Lego builder. Eh. One where the guy from <laughs> what? Isn't that that Korean boy band that everyone always like bonds over or something? I was like, oh my god, they're so amazing. They're the best thing ever and had the most rabid fans too. No, that's BTS. Okay. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Good old John Cena meme. Right after the Bing Chilling. It's Backstreet for life. Yeah, Backstreet Boys, let's go. I want it that way. Tell me why. <laughs> uh. But yes, welcome, for 40. How are you? Back streets, back. All right. God, I remember when that played at what was that movie at World's End or World's End or whatever. Everyone in this theater was just singing along. It was great. <laughs> this is the end. Yeah, that. Just when like th that came on, everyone was just singing it in the theater. And you can literally hear everyone laughing while doing it too. And I'm pretty sure like everyone in the next theater over could hear everyone singing too. And they're probably like, why the fuck are they singing Backstreet Boys? It was funny. Good times, good times. Back when movies were actually good. Yeah, how you doing, 40? What you working on for Warhammer Wise? Working on anything cool? Or are you just waiting for the inevitable death of your wallet for something that's going to be really soon? Knight Armager is nice. Very good. Very good. This Psy Titan is an experiment for the skeletons of my knights, and I like the way it looks. So this means this is what's going to be used on my knights and my warlord titan. Woohoo. New movies. Watch Pacific Rim for the 10th time. Based, very based. It's just it's just so sad that there was never a sequel to the to Pacific Rim. 
just just so sad such a shame such a damn shame Pacific Rim was such a good movie it deserved a sequel Sure, everyone would have loved a sequel of Pacific Rim. I gotta say Warlord Titan like Squidmar. Warlord Titan! I don't have the Nordic accent, the Swedish accent. He's Swedish, right? You gotta have the Swedish accent. I don't got that, unfortunately. Okay, I gotta wait for that to dry now, then I can hit it with my little dry brush and hopefully not get it on the areas I don't want it. Okay, there's no note there. You should make a sequel with John Boyega. Yeah, I know. John Boyega would have been great in Pacific Rim too. Because he was really popular around that time. Terrible actor. As you can tell, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> well, I'm not a huge fan of Pacific Rim. I mean, that's fine. It's not for everyone, but I will admit, Guillermo del Toro. That yeah, Guillermo, de, dang it, del Toro is really good at making movies. Battle wreck. Hello. Which fork Force Awakens then torpedo bullet? Yes, it did. It, it torpedoed their career so hard. No, but you want to know whose career it torpedoed even harder? The lady who played Rose. Her career got destroyed. He's even worse than he is. <laughs> Why? Let's see. God, do I not get the day when everyone's zeroed in on her specifically? People zeroed in specifically on her because her character didn't belong in Star Wars, honestly. Like her character was really annoying too. And she also messed up what would have been a good like a good send off to John Boyega's character of Finn because they butchered him so bad and that would have probably been the only good thing he did, which is die for like the cause. But no, she's like, you can't sacrifice yourself for the cause. You can't sacrifice the ones we love. And it's like, bitch, we just met you at the start of this movie. We don't care about you. Jared. Finn could have been a Jedi. Yes, he could have. He could have, Jared. He could have been an awesome Jedi. Also, wait, welcome. What army do you play and or paint? Yes is a valid answer. was the thing they were advertising him as the Jedi but no instead we got Mary Sue Tao <laughs> I mean just because you play Tao doesn't mean we're gonna make fun of you okay we might make fun of you there ain't nothing wrong with playing Tao play whatever you like I want to watch 20 minutes of the movie and turned it off. Yeah. Hello, Black Rose. Welcome. I don't want to get tomatoes thrown at me. I mean, here's the thing. You're not as bad as being an Eldar player. That's what will really get people to not like you is if you play Eldar. Because nobody likes those damn knife eared bastards. Hmm.
Knife ears, yes. Knife ear bastards. Out for people who like fish and communism. No one in my local group is up to date, so I'm aware. I am unaware too. Ah, uh, okay. Eldar were OP for the first six months of the edition, but they've they've been reined in a bit. They're not as OP as they used to be at the start of the edition in like the past couple months. So that's that's they're 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 a lot they're a lot more fair to play against than they were at the start. I do like fish, but I definitely ain't no commie. Yeah. And I have to ask, do you have a townar? Because I don't play Tau and I want a townar. I would love to have a townar. Oh my god, no. I thought Tau was NATO. Mm -hmm. Remember my little pony jokes due to the Tau having hooves? Eh. You think I have an oil field? I can't afford that. I mean, there's the uh, less than uh, the way that pisses off GW. There's that way. Okay, so now is that dry? Almost. Ugh. Holy shit. Oh, so this thing's getting looking pretty good. I can put these back on because I just had to dry brush stuff the magnets. I want to put the town R guns on one of my hammerheads. That'd be funny. I mean, isn't one of the town R guns already on the hammerhead, the rail cannon? I'm pretty sure because the town R has a rail cannon array. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Two riptides. In a fire warrior team. Ah, so are, does that mean you're new to Warhammer then? Hello, Alaric. How you doing? Do I get that railgun on the hammerhead? Ah, okay. Costco print hoodie is clutch. Yes, it is. I got that dog in me. No nude. New? No. It's new to tabletop? Yes. Ah, okay. Well, welcome to the tabletop side of the hobby. What the heck is um, like, why is there a bunch of like dusty crap on my table? It's like, oh wait, that's the um, that's all the dry brush residue. But yeah, everyone has been shits on Tau because of they don't have melee. I'm going to finish my Sakara today, and hopefully my Termis today or the next week, so I can go to the store and buy more shit. Yes, yes, make your pile of shame worse. I more Warhammer. I made a Warhammer learning dyslexia to kill me though. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I remember. The chat doesn't know that. I think I actually made my towel basing scheme as Salt Planet from Last Jedi. What's up, Wanderer? How are you? How you doing? Iron Warriors need more tanks. Uh, I think I might actually swap dry brushes because this one's a bit too big. Got that ADHD in me. Me too. Me too. Uh, where is my shitty dry brush? Here it is. They can't give Tau Melee because they have to nerf their ranged weapons. Yeah, then they're left with Mechanicus or something. I mean, sucks to be them. So I think that's good. Yes, it is. We're friends now. We're having soft tacos later. Nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, I can't tell. Okay, I can barely see it. So I see barely a line right here, which is what I wanted. I could learn superiority of bayonets. Yes, they could. Instead of hiding like a bunch of cowards. 
and shooting from afar. I mean, isn't the only Tau melee Tau have right now Commander Farsight? Caradons vs. Tau in a Texas bar. An old bar steel cage death match. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Tau are gonna get dumpstered on. Because melee is what Caradons specialize in. Tau ain't gonna last too long, that's for sure. You got optional melee and some battle suits, and the ethereals, ethereals can melee. The Ethereals can melee? What? I thought the Ethereals were just a bunch of cowards. Which is why Farsight doesn't like them. And then another Enclave apparently one punch Manglove. Her parents have chain axes. And then there's Tyveros with his chain sword lightning claw fucking relic power gauntlet that nobody knows about, that no one knows how he got it. I bought a tech marine to stand next to a redemptor dreadnought and give some little ability to. Yeah. Make that dreadnought hit better. Especially if you play Iron Storm. Which is ideally what you want to play if you're playing a bunch of heavy a bunch of vehicles like dreadnoughts is you want to play the iron storm space marine detachment play ultras i was looking at that well, just because you play Ultra Marines doesn't mean you can't play the other detachments. Because you're not locked into one detachment for the Space Marine Codex. Because each one has like... Each detachment is supposed to represent a different Space Marine chapter. Iron Storm is supposed to represent if you want to play Iron Hands. There's the Bolter one that is the Siege... I think it's the Siege one or whatever. That's for Imperial Fists. Laugh about the Smurfs. Nah, we don't make it fun of everyone that plays Smurfs. We only make fun of people who like Matt Ward and the books he wrote. Because Matt Ward ruined Ultra Ultramarines and um, Grey Knights by turning them into Mary Sue's. Maybe because I chose to look the windows. Ah, yes, windows. Very delicious. Especially when there's Windex on it. Windex, Windex makes everything better. Matthew Warden. Ah, yes, also, uh... 40, remember when we were talking about starting Custodes with the Combat Patrol? The new one they showed yesterday is a very good point to start at, too. The new one's a, the one that's going on for pre-order next week is a really good one. Okay, uh, so I've done that. That's got that. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, right, more custodies. Yes, more custodies that I don't need. Because I already have multiples of those. Ugh. Maybe smaller, but they do look cooler. Yes. Licks windows. Lick windows, lick cadmium yellow loaded brushes. Mmm, yes, cadmium yellow. I wanted to pre order Kill Team Nightmares, but it's out. Yeah. Uh, if you got a GW store near you and it's not too popular, honestly, go check that. Because that's how I was able to get my Deathwing Assault box, um, like a whole almost week later, because the other game store didn't have it. 
Like it didn't even they didn't even get them. Thankfully, my GW store had a Deathwing assault box that I still need to assemble. But I do got the codex for it. <laughs> Gotta wait till the Night Lords are another their own box. Uh hello, Snow Wolf. Sorry to break it to you, Wanderer, but that's probably not gonna happen. They're gonna be in that kill team box for this foreseeable future. Okay, so. How long have I been streaming for? Four hours and 30 minutes. Jesus Christ. It's almost five. So let me take a quick three minute break and then I will be back because I have to go feed doggo number one. He needs to be fed and then also I need to stand up and stretch. So I'll be back in three minutes. Everyone else should stand up and stretch. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I have cookies. Very delicious cookies. Yeah. And also, this is a reminder for tomorrow's stream. I'm going to be building some model railroad stuff. Woohoo. 
Well, it's time for nap later, Hellbrick. Uh, apparently they're lavender cookies. Is what they are. Mm -hmm. Doggo has been fed, and now what do I want to do? Oh, I gotta do that too. Where is this brush? Because I need to do a little bit right in there, although I'm not sure how well I can do that. Lavender cookies, you keep the cookies. Eh, okay, more for me. They, they, they taste good, though. They taste good. Or is it lemon lavender? I don't remember. More for me. They taste good to me. different okay yeah it does I was like I can't tell if there's any difference between the two spots like you can barely tell there's a difference but there is a difference gotta rub the dang paintbrush in there With that little slightly brighter area Hope not fuck it up. Okay, that looks good. It's good enough. It's good. It's good to get. Yeah, I can see there's a little bit brighter right there. Okay, uh, what paint should I do next? Uh, so I've done with the dry brushing for that. Um. I need to wash my other dry brushes for next stream, so I won't be able to do those metallics. Mm. Ooh, I know. I still need to paint the power claw. Every color is almost the same when you're colorblind. I know a gray is a color, yes. These panels are all gray. Psy Titan is gray. With the, with the fist being red. Okay. Oh yeah, I also have to paint the head too. That'll be when I work on more metallic stuff, when I start doing metallics. It'll be like some golden brass color. Uh -huh. um. I want to do corn red or do I want to do my fist in? Hmm. Take a look. That looks like my fist in red. I'm going to do my fist in. First try. Yes, we <laughs> gray mini prime black and painted it gray. Why you ask? Don't question it. You dare to question GW? How dare you question GW? And all their infinite wisdom. Question GW, they're gonna come after you. Just like how they went after all the fan animators. Rest in pepperonis, Emperor had text to speech. You will be forever missed. Okay, it was just looking weird.
Yeah, hope everyone's having a good day today. As I know I am. I get to paint miniatures, make the side titan look cool. Can't wait to be done because actually the funny thing is, once I finish this side titan, I have no more Legion Imperialis titans I need to paint. I've already painted all of them. All four of my Warhounds are painted, my other two Warlord Titans are painted, all three of my Reaver Titans are painted, and my one War Master Titan is painted. I am not getting a Warbringer Titan though, because that is my least favorite Titan. It just looks weird. Hearing a backlog. Yay. Yeah. Where you can get a shiny new box. Yes, I know where I can get a shiny new box too. At our local GW store. Woohoo. Reaver Titan looks like a wasp. Yeah, it does. I mean, the thing is, too, if I like painting the, um, the small space marines I'm going to be using as basing material for this thing, then I I might... I want to get that damn box. I, I, I want to get that dang in Legion Imperialis box. But I don't want the Warhound Titans. I already got enough of them. I don't need more. I have enough Warhound Titans. I don't need more. This isn't the Kylo Ren meme of more. More. Don't need more plastic walls. You just slide. How does that make you feel? I'm not lying. It's just I don't need more plastic crack for now. I've gotten enough plastic crack to paint for the next couple years. At the pace that I paint. Be chased around by a titanic wasp for now. Yeah, exactly. For now. I will eventually get more plastic cracks whenever I feel like it. If there's a very tempting deal somewhere or I know it's not going to be around for long. Or Hey, this is a rare mini. I want this. <laughs> Because woohoo, FOMO, yeah, let's go. FOMO, let's fucking go. <laughs> that imply you want the metal crack or is GW not releasing metal models? GW doesn't have metal models anymore, but metal crack is just, um, that's battle tech. And I also do have battle tech. Yeah, that reminds me. I need to check to see if the um, if uh, they released the, the backer kit thing for the mercenaries Kickstarter, if they sent me my shipping invoice. Cause I need to pay for that shipping. FOMO is my nemesis. It is mine too. It is definitely my nemesis too. Although I've kind of been getting better at not falling for it, although I really, I really want that Custodes Codex, the special edition one. Ugh. I don't want to miss out on that. Because it looks so cool. That art on it is so cool. I want it. I want it real bad. I want it now. On second thought, I am probably not gonna... Yeah, uh, that looks like he's got a painted nail. For now, it does. What's the big deal? Yeah, I know, it's only money. We're... 
Warhammer is getting increasingly more more expensive year by year. Thanks, GW. Thank you, my day. A night cost a hundred twenty dollars. Now they cost close to two hundred. Yes, by a big margin. <laughs> No one tell my wife. You'll find out eventually. Just gotta hide the war hammer. <laughs> gotta figure out how to hide it better. <laughs> oh, we bought some pack of goodies and only for a hundred dollars. Yep. Could be a train guy. Yeah, I know, right? Could be a train guy that likes model trains. And totally isn't doing a stream tomorrow of assembling some model train stuff. Woohoo. <laughs> My God. Not tell her to sell my collection for what I told her I paid for it. <laughs> yup, that, that is a given. No, this is why you gotta... You gotta have a catalog, a Excel spreadsheet of the cost of all your shit. Got to get that Excel spreadsheet up and running. That's how everyone feels with model trains. Don't let them sell it for what I said I paid for it. Because model trains are not that cheap. Okay, some are that cheap. Just those are the low quality ones that are that cheap. Usually Bachman engines that are sold for that cheap, honestly. Because old Bachman locomotives are really shit. Emphasis on really shit. Their rolling stock is pretty is de is okay. It's just all their locomotives are shit, but at least they aren't uh, Broadway Limited. The Broadway Limited imports uh, a lot of their stuff is incredibly overpriced for the quality control they have. I see Nitro cards because it's too expensive now. The Warhammer gets money. <laughs> yeah. Yup, indeed. Trade out one hobby for another. That's what I did with Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Sold all the Yu-Gi-Oh, my expensive Yu-Gi-Oh decks, but not my old collection. Just to help fund more Warhammer. Woohoo, let's go. Hammer is love, war hammer is life. There's gonna be a lot of new players though once um the Amazon Warhammer TV show is released in like a few years. Like, there's gonna be so many new players. Which can be a good thing and also a bad thing. Hopefully it is a good thing. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bunch of crap right there. But it doesn't get received in like a wet part like the Foundation live action series. Or so far the Fallout series, because apparently the Fallout series is uh not doing too great isn't too great. Apparently. Apparently the Fallout TV show isn't that good. Which is kind of sad. I was kind of hoping it'd be good. Or get get this on like the fans like Halo. Oh yeah, H Halo. Uh, we don't talk about that TV show. We definitely don't talk about that TV show. I don't care what anyone says, that is not Halo. And that is definitely not the Master Chief. All they had to do, just to make it successful and not piss everyone off, to just make it some random no-name new Spartan and everyone would have been fine with it. No, I didn't get early, but the early reviews are not that good. Because it's a, it's a, it's another Halo TV show situation where the people making it said, no, we didn't play any of the Fallout games at all. None of us did. We didn't really do any research. We just know the setting. That's it. I heard a crazy theory that Halo was initially a Mass Effect show, but they didn't have to get the rights. Probably. Seems about right. Me and DMV were bad. It was one of my top favorite movies. Well, I mean, I think the early review for the DND movies were bad because what it was was people were still riding on the coattails of the boycott. Is what it was for Wizards of the Coast. Is probably what it was for the whole. What was it? DND now or something is what they called it. Okay, there's that. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. What else do I got? What other colors? I think next is just going to be the trim and metallic. Wait. I think I bet they make a Doom movie without Doom Guy. Oh, wait. I thought you were going to say they're going to make a uh, Fantastic Four movie without a really cool Doctor Doom. And I'm like, wait a minute. They can't get Doctor Doom right. It's do that later, but I do know that those are supposed to be red. Kind of watching it made me think that the guys behind the movie actually love D&D. Yep. <laughs> the rock in it. That'd be funny. <laughs> that would be funny and I'd actually probably watch it. Like more Vox Machina. Uh, I still need to see the DND movie. I need to see if it's on HBO Max or Amazon or something. Or Hulu, somewhere I can watch it because the. All the. Oh, wait, I gotta paint that red too. Fuck. I forgot about the Vulcan Mega Bolter that goes on the Titan's hand. I need to paint that too, and I also need a more load more red. On me wet palette.
Okay, they need to load up more red. We gotta paint the red on this. Okay, uh... Is this it, my fist in yet? Yeah. realize too, I probably am not seeing the entire chat because my chat filters got messed up. There we go, that's better. You gotta raise it, works so the time to pay it forward. You don't need to. Go buy more Warhammer. Go buy more Warhammer. I say buy more Warhammer. Just like there's no such thing as too many Terminators and I have, I think, 60 now. Wait, I never, I haven't done a recap. Thank you for the gift of membership. Thank you, Black Roses. How many Terminators do I have? Let's see. 10, 20, 25, 30, 30, um, 35, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have 67 Terminators, I'm two off. I'm two off from the funny number. Oh wait, no, I have I have two up here. Okay, I have 69 uh I have 69 different terminators. Nice. Hell yeah. Funny number. And I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna paint ten of them because they're their old Deathwing Command Squad. <laughs> the old Deathwing Command Squad is really goofy. And so they're probably never gonna get painted. <laughs> gonna wait for this to dry. Skill issue. Why was there a double broadcast of that? What the heck? That was weird. Why did I get a... Why did I get a double broadcast of the heck? Okay, why well, I, I need to see in my settings. Skill issue. Oh, that's why. Why is doing that? So it's picking it up, I think, from the you the music from YouTube. But no, it isn't. It's not that one. Uh, Twitch you lights maybe. To refuse my bajol? Yes. Where are the channel points? Where is it picking it up from? That's gonna annoy me until I find it. Skill issue. Skill issue. Where is the double broadcast coming from? Hello there. Yes, hello there. Where the fuck is the double broadcast coming from? That's weird. I think it might be. Eh, whatever. I'll figure it out later. And Ooh. the music stopped. I think it's just skill issue that causes it. Nice. Oh, I think I know why. Because it's playing. Is it playing skill issue? Skill issue. Why is doing that? That is weird. Dehydrate. This skill issue, which is a skill issue. I don't know why. Like I said, I will figure it out later. Skill issue. I think what it might be is. 
Probably is something with the throwing program that's causing it. It's probably throwing it on. Tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the, okay, the rubber ducky just skill issue. Yeah, there's some the rubber ducky just double broadcast too. I don't know why. Jokes on you. Now you don't have any more points. Hey, <laughs> hey. Now you're wrong. Ah. How do you have that many? How many channel points do you have? My God. Probably none now. What was that? Yep, yeah, later. Thanks for hanging out. How many do you have? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm actually gonna check this because this is weird. Uh object manager ducky. Uh nope, trigger manager ducky. I think it's object manager. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, there we go. Action rubber duck on bonk default bonk. Oh, huh. wait on hit. Oh, on hit on spawn. That. I think I might have just fucked up the rubber ducky. <laughs> I just I saw some I, I saw what I, I saw where it was double broadcasting at least I think I did where is it double broadcasting from this is getting annoying I think it's the duck Issue. Tell Ickbart I'd like a game. What game? What game would you like? Game of 40k? I mean, you can't tell him that yourself. You know that, right? In the Discord? Did this one do it? Yeah, this one's also doing double broadcast. What the heck? Where's the double broadcast coming from? Let me pause the music to see. This will probably help. Ah, why am I getting double broadcast? Hit on spawn. Okay. That's strange. Let me try turning it on then off again. Okay, I'll do it. More weight coming from you. No, it doesn't. Holds no weight. Okay, let's try this again. Trigger manager. Bye. There's something here that's double broadcasting and I don't know what it is and it's annoying me. It is annoying me to no end. Yeah, I need it. Let me see the settings for throw sounds. Uh, advanced audio properties, throw sounds, uh, throw sounds, uh, 
monitor and output. Okay. Okay, that's how it should be. What the fuck? Whatever. Back to painting. Neca arc lasts longer than fire everything for 5k. A lot longer. Yes, well, fire everything is a lot louder. That's why. And it could also be, like I said, my settings have gotten all fucked up somehow. Pretty sure my settings have just gotten fucked up. This is the first time there's ever been a double broadcast for that. So I, I don't know why it's double broadcasting skill issue like that too. Skill issue. Unless there's like a random... Is there an additional tab open somewhere? I think there's an additional tab open somewhere that I'm not seeing. I don't know what it is, though. Aw. Whatever, like I said, I'll just, I'll figure it out later. I don't know why it's doing it. It is very annoying to me, but I gotta deal with it. Just the good thing about these cables is that they're going to be have a little bit of brass on them, but then also they're just going to be washed with um, null oil, which is exactly what I'm washing the red with, too. I don't got to worry about that. Okay. Nice and red. This is still kind of fucky. Honestly, I think that part's just going to be hidden that I fucked up on there. I don't need to worry about it too much, hopefully. Just the problem is sometimes the fist in red does not like to cover very well because I can still see some of the black primer under it in some areas. Which is incredibly aggravating. And oh boy, there is a little paint molecule or paint chip right here. That needs to F right off and get off my miniature. Oh, hey, cool. Another little random mess. Paint ball of paint. Little microfiber randomly appearing on my stoof no what the fuck happened there what the hell what the heck happened here Paint got right there, but it didn't really cover that well. What the heck? Or I honestly probably just missed this spot, which is probably what happened. I 
Okay. Okay, so that color is done, that color is done, those colors are done. He called us. Wait, no. I have to experiment with the other thing, but I don't want to do that today because it's going to take a while and all my dry brushes are dirty. So I think I am done for the day. Got a decent amount of stuff painted, kind of, although there were a couple screw ups along the way. So thank you everyone so much for watching and hanging out tomorrow. I'm going to be working on model train stuff. So I hope everyone has a good day slash time zone and uh, yeah, see y'all tomorrow, hopefully.